time before the Titans, before the gods of Olympus, a great battle was waged. The wrath of the primordials. The very beings who forged the Earth. Raged out of control for an eternity. And from this rage, this madness of war, the Furies were brought forth. Neither Titan nor God, mortal nor shade, the Furies were bound to no one. For they were the guardians of honor, the enforcers of punishment, the bane of traitors. When Zeus came to power, he found he had little to fear from the sisters. The Furies sought retribution only for those whom they deemed guilty. The first of these traitors was Aegean the Hecatonchores. When the brute pledged a blood oath to Zeus, only to later betray the king of the gods, the Furies were quick to take action. The sisters relentlessly hunted the Aegean, and upon capturing the creature, tortured him without mercy. For the Furies believed death was too kind for this oathbreaker. The Aegean the Hecatonchores became an example to all. A special symbol for those who might think to break a blood oath with a god. Kratos, the great Spartan general, was finally defeated. Driven mad, tortured and uncertain of his surroundings, the warrior found himself captured like a fly in the web of the fuels. Never. Wrong. You seem confused, Kratos. Having trouble remembering our special time together? But then again, we were rudely interrupted by my sister. Electo was never one for manners. Not to worry. I am quite skilled at teaching. Respect! For what you've taken, I owe you that.
see how you fare against the Hecatonkeries! I will not indulge you as my sisters do. He bears a mark like I've never seen. He is the one! He will free us from the Fury's grasp! He is cursed! Stay away! to Olympus. I am free!
for the last time, Spartan! Focusing only on the task ahead, Kratos struggled to remember the weeks prior to his imprisonment. To the time when he set out to break his bond with Ares, the god of war. Your mind is troubled, but your skills are still without equal. Do you have business with me? I do, but this is not the manner to discuss it. I see no other way. You have no reason to trust me, Spartan. I only ask that you try. Your thoughts are not your own, but I can help you. I believe these belong to you. Use these items to still your mind, Kratos. Do not let illusion deceive you. Visions ceased. I see only you. God, you will need this skill for the path ahead. And what path is that? The path of freedom, Kratos. Freedom? Yes, freedom. Freedom from the Furies who relentlessly hunt you in the name of Ares, and ultimately, Freedom from your bond to the god of war himself. Break an oath with a god. 
<laughs> of all the minds in question, mine is not the one to worry about. You waver from sound mind to illusion in the beat of a heart. Is that any life for a great warrior? The Furies are near. They cannot know I speak with you. I will draw them away. The truth waits for you in Delphi, Kratos. Seek the Oracle. For those who seek the truth, the heat of Ares' fire has no burn. Take the ice of Poseidon and you will find your path. For those who have eyes to see, I offer the Lightning of Zeus.
please the Oracle this time. I know it. No, no, my gifts. She must have them all. It will have to be enough. Master approaches. You! We have given you all you need for success, and yet you still fail us. The statues were to be completed by now. It is a massive task you have set before us, Master. My brothers, they... they need food and rest. You have not been asked to speak! <laughs> and who will be next? <laughs> You! You there! You are now charged with the task of completing the statues. As you wish. We hope your work is better than that of your friend here. We can no longer stand the sight of you. You make us sick. <clears throat> Search for truth. The souls of Hades will aid your quest. If they're worthy at our will, I offer nothing. You presume to seek audience with the Oracle, and yet you bring no offerings? Bold. Stupid, but bold. Although, you must have good reason to seek the Oracle carrying such a mark. Return when you have brought appropriate sacrifice. I have come to see the Oracle. That is what I intend to do. I would have liked to hear your story, warrior. It is a shame you fail to see reason. Remove him. Not tolerate your 
impudence. You will not see her. in our temple. You will never see the Oracle. My, quite persistent, isn't he? His persistence only means his death. not allow you to continue!
Alethea. The relic you carry has no effect on me. Then I fear you are beyond aid. Do not worry. The situation before me is clear. I have waited for this day. Your thoughts are clouded and your mind conflicted, warrior. I can feel it. You seek the truth? Yes. So be it. But remember, the truth always comes with a price. Enemies. Innocent. Kin. Your bond is complete. What's done is done. It cannot be undone. No. The Furies infect your mind because you run from your oath to Ares. They will stop at nothing should you resist. So the Shade speaks the truth. The intentions of Orcos are pure. Orcos? But he is a Fury. And he will play his part in time. <gasps> My time grows short. To be free of the madness that infects you, you must defeat those who hold your bond with the God of War. How can I defeat the Furies when all I see is illusion? Across the sea, the Lantern of Delos keeps the eyes of truth. Delos? Find the eyes, and they will show you the path to freedom. Coward hides himself, Orcos. You know I am one of the Furies who forged your bond. You would have killed me before I could even speak. Then tell me, what has brought you to this betrayal of your own kind? It was you. The injustice of your oath that made me doubt them. Is it possible that through all your suffering you still do not understand why you were chosen? Why Ares needed you, why he still needs you. Speak clearly. Oh, Kratos. The god of war has been plotting for years. 
Ares. I was brought forth by the joining of the War Guard and the Fury Queen. In rage and insanity, Ares hoped to conceive the perfect warrior. But I was only a disappointment to him. It was my mothers who spared me. They gave me the task of keeping the Earths. Although my burden was great, I was determined to be of service to those who said they loved me. But it was you, Kratos. It was the final task of your bond that made me question the actions of my family. I sought counsel with Aletheia. It was she who revealed to me the plot of Ares to overthrow Zeus. But he needed the perfect warrior. Ares molded you to take down the very walls of Olympus. Ares, destroy my enemies! And my life is yours! To make you beholden only to him, Ares and my mothers devised three blood tasks. Spill the blood of your enemies. The blood of the innocent. The blood of your very... The past is the past, Orgos. Past you now seek to rectify. And I will do so without the aid of a few. As Kratos looked upon the gem, he realized all he need do was fight the forces that gnawed at his mind. His thoughts now clear, the warrior turned his rage to the remaining Furies and their ultimate defeat. watched you over the years. When you were just a boy, I saw the signs. Even the loss of your brother did not sway your focus. The tragedy only improved you. You honed your skills. And now, Kratos, you have fulfilled your promise of greatness. You served with honor. You brought glory to us all, and today, you have earned your place among us as the greatest general Sparta has ever known. So, there is something you value more than ambition! for what he's done. 
<laughs> they say he was the first marked one, but his father didn't like the way he turned out. I know. I was the first man to be put here by the Furies. See? I've been keeping a record! Orcos was born here. Then his mothers, they... they became... They, they used to be fair. Harsh, but fair. Had something to do with Ares, I imagine. The way they treated him. Oh, their own son. That is no reason to betray your own. Betrayed his own? Sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> but he did it because of you. I did not ask for his help. <laughs> but you received it nonetheless. Didn't you, Spartan? <laughs> this will make a wonderful addition to the record. If neither pleasure of the flesh or glory will return you to us, then there is only one thing left. Betray you! Kratos knew he was close. Close to a time when illusion would have no power over him. Close to the defeat of the Furies and finally, close to the freedom he so desperately sought. The sooner we get past Delos, the happier I'll be. They say it is cursed. Too bad we can't sail south of Telos. They say the great Archimedes built that statue for Apollo. Why do we stop at this cursed island? He's gone. Let us leave this wretched place. Quickly, for we are cursed too!
leave an army in disarray. Return to us, General. Lead us to victory. You do not exist. You are of my mind. Return to your roots. Return to who you are, Spartan. <laughs> we only need to bring you home. My home is in Sparta! Sister, show him what Sparta does to a traitor! Further now, Spartan. Inside there are the eyes of truth, the very same eyes my mother's ruthlessly pulled from Aletheia. When I learned of the plot between my parents to overthrow Olympus, I could not believe Aletheia's words. Then she showed me the truth. That the god of war would bring down the very walls of Olympus. I knew I must stop them. Aletheia and I sought to warn Zeus. But when Ares learned of our attempt, he sent my mothers after us. The 
eyes were brutally ripped from my beloved. She became a prisoner in her own temple. Ares and my mothers knew that if the eyes of truth were hidden, then their wicked plot would not be revealed. Then soon they would reign over the gods themselves. To keep their plan in motion, they need you back, Spot. They will stop at nothing until you return to Lord Ares. Ares will have to find another to do his bidding. I know you will set things right. I'm sorry, Spartan. When I learned that my mothers were close, I came to what- We have special plans for you, my son. All this effort and you still fail. Come, sisters. We will break him within the walls of Hecatonkeres. Kratos found himself defeated, and this time no Olympian would come to his aid. Satisfied, the sisters returned home with their prize. Within the walls of their prison, they would delve into the broken warrior's soul and entice Kratos back to his place as a servant of Ares.
here far too long. You can see her in the morning. Come. In time, you will forget. All that you have lost can be yours once again. If this is what keeps you in service to Lord Ares, then this is what you shall have. It... It is not real! I can be your reality. The hard part is over, Spartan. You have committed the ultimate sacrifice. Offer yourself to us completely, and you shall live in blissful illusion. Never. Then let death be your reality! What is the meaning of this? You have made a poor choice, Spartan. Trinket will not defeat our sister! You defy me? You are but a mortal. You should have taken our offer, Kratos! I am the queen of the Furies!
You shame, Sparta! Oathbreaker! Truth, but truth will only bring you pain. My death will not free you from this madness. I would not have been strong enough to choose your path, Spartan. Orcos. I would have taken what my mother's offered. I would rather live in truth. I fear you may come to regret those words. Lord Ares still holds your bond. This cannot be. Before you killed them, my mother's once again made me your Oathkeeper. For you to be free, I must die by your hand. I do not understand. If you do not release me, my father will retain power over you. But even worse, I will live in eternal torture. I have spilled enough innocent blood. There is no other way, Spartan. Destroy the Oath. Kill Ares. Have your revenge. I was never the warrior my father wanted me to be. But please, all I ask, give me an honorable death. With the death of Orcos, the blood oath to Ares was finally broken, and the painful truth rushed back to Kratos' mind. The truth of the murder he committed, the slaughter of his wife and child, the carnage forged from his relentless ambition, surfaced in perfect clarity, and became the visions that would haunt him all of his days.
now free of the Fury's madness, but still tortured by the truth of his past. Kratos left the only home he'd ever known, and set out to undo all that he had wrought. Suffering for years, Kratos, the once great general, now known as the Ghost of Sparta, had pledged himself as a champion to the gods of Olympus. In return, he hoped only to rid himself of the nightmares that haunted him for far too long. But for now, his only respite, his only relief from the sins of his past, was found in the heat of battle. And on this day, Kratos had been called upon by the gods to confront an unthinkable evil, unleashed on the city of Attica by the invading Persian army. City Persian. Evil? It is not evil that I bring, Spartan. I bring the might of Persia and the sacrament of purification. As we speak, my basilisk cleanses this land so that it may embrace the glory of the Persian Empire. Olympus has sent a message, and I am here to deliver it. <laughs> then you are just a messenger. So take this message back to your little gods. It will take more than a pathetic Spartan to stop the power of the Empire. Please! Please! Spare my life, and I will give you all that you ask. You have nothing I want, Persian. Take my kingdom, my women, my gold. I won't take your riches, but I will take your life. Fulfilling his commitment to the gods, Kratos defeated the basilisk brought forth by the Persians. But this small victory 
would not satisfy the man who had come to be known as the Ghost of Sparta. Is this all you would have me do? Is there nothing else? through the sky and the world plunge into darkness, Kratos knew this was not a sign from the gods. What treachery is this? Setting his sights on the glowing horizon, Kratos made his way toward the mysterious light. But there was more afoot than Kratos could possibly know. darkness, Morpheus, the god of dreams, awakened to a world where he and only he wielded power. The land was slowly overrun by a black fog that engulfed everything it touched. The power of Morpheus affected even Kratos as he was haunted by a strange melody. And as Kratos approached the temple, it became clear that the task ahead was more than he could have ever imagined. Once again, the strange, lingering melody could be heard through the black fog of Morpheus, haunting Kratos. The temple on which Kratos stood was the Sun Chariot of Helios. The very chariot that the fire steeds pulled across the sky every day, allowing the brilliance of Helios to shine down on all mankind. Kratos. Athena, what madness has befallen us? Kratos, there is not much time. Olympus needs you. I grow tired of the gods' request, Athena. I have given enough. Now take these nightmares from my head. It is not for you to say when your servitude ends. You will earn your freedom in time. But for now, Olympus needs your unquestioning obedience. The God of the Sun has been torn from the sky. This temple on which you stand is the Chariot of Helios. Without their master to reign them, the Fire Steeds have driven the Sun Chariot into the Earth. And without Helios, there is no one to keep Morpheus from seizing permanent power. Many of the gods have fallen into a deep slumber. Soon, all will succumb to the black grip of Morpheus. What would you have me do? You must find Helios, and return him to the sky. Lest the world of gods and man be lost forever. Only his light can release the grasp of Morpheus. Athena! Athena! I am grateful you have come, Ghost of Sparta. The Titan Atlas has been freed from the pits of Tartarus and has taken my brother Helios from his rightful place in the sky. What does Atlas want with the Sun God? Helios holds within him the power of the Sun, a power so great it can destroy the world. It cannot be trusted in the hands of a Titan. Please, take the Sun Shield from his throne. Walk through the gates of Olympus, and you will find me. Hurry, Kratos. Even now, my brother suffers at the hand of Atlas. 
as Kratos stepped out into the eternal night, much had changed outside the temple. Morpheus grew ever stronger, as his harbingers of darkness continued their relentless march. Kratos entered the cave. Eos, goddess of dawn and sister to Helios, sat above him, visibly weakened by the absence of the sun. All glory be to Lord Zeus for granting you safe passage to me. The king of the gods does not aid me, Eos. I am but a slave to Zeus and Olympus. Save my brother, Kratos, and he will convince Zeus to release you and rid you of the horrors of your past. I give you my word. The gods have broken their word to me many times. Forgive me if I find it hard to believe your promises. Be that as it may, Kratos. The primordial fire is almost out. Without Helios, the life-giving light of the world cannot be sustained. If you do not find him, only darkness and death awaits all of us. Where has Atlas taken him? I do not know, Kratos. Follow the passage out of the cave. Retrieve the fire and it will light your path to the remaining steeds. They will guide you to their master. They will take you to my brother. May you go with the speed of Hermes, Ghost of Sparta. And again, the melody returns. And it almost seemed familiar. As Kratos left the temple, he was assaulted by the army of Morpheus, and again, he heard the haunting melody. But this time, he recognized it as the song of his daughter, Calliope. Calliope? My, My daughter, daughter, where are you? Calliope! With the release of the fire steeds, Kratos was now in the hands of the beasts. And where they would take him, he did not know.
As the steeds pulled Kratos away from the grip of Morpheus, they crossed into the underworld. But in the land of the dead, they could go no further, for these beings of light were not welcome in Hades. Kratos found himself on the very edge of Hades, the land where no mortal had set foot. Here, where the souls of the dead walk their fated path, Kratos knew that for him, this was merely the beginning. Here, where the souls of the wicked are tortured in the pits of Tartarus, the wailing and agony of the damned resonated deep throughout the bowels of the underworld. Kratos saw before him the remnants of the old rulers of Earth, the mighty Titans. Defeated by the gods and enchained in the depths of Tartarus, they suffered their unjust penance. And for their torment, it was well known that these immortal beings hated the Olympians with immeasurable fury. By the hands of Zeus, the Titans had been bound and shackled in their torment for a thousand years, with no hope of escape. Now the chains that once held the Titan Atlas lay broken, and only one question plagued the thoughts of Kratos. Who will release such evil? would not hold Atlas, and they would not hold me either. The gods have obviously taken pity on their slaves. You underestimate me, Charon. This time I will not be so merciful.
Having defeated Charon, Kratos journeyed deeper into Hades and closer to his goal. For in the distance, the bright light of Helios illuminated all of the underworld. But something on the shore caught his attention. And to Kratos, it almost seemed an apparition. Calliope! Upon seeing his daughter, Kratos realized that all that he had been working for, all that he had wanted, was within reach. Years of service to the gods had not delivered him from his pain, never had it eased the burden of his past. And now, Calliope was found. Calliope! Kratos looked, but his daughter was nowhere to be seen. In the middle of the room sat a graceful figure, a figure he recognized all too well. Persephone, wife of Hades, and queen of the undead. Where is my daughter, witch? Choose your words carefully, ghost of Sparta. You address the goddess of the underworld. Your daughter is well. She lives among the pure souls in the Elysian fields. Lead me to her! Have you forgotten, Kratos? The Olympians need you. They slumber at the hand of Morpheus. I have faithfully served the gods, yet they do not give me what I ask. I grow weary of their demands. The gods on Olympus failed me too, Kratos. I was betrayed by Zeus and tricked by my husband Hades. Now I am to stay in the underworld as queen of the dead, to serve the fallen and care for them as my own children. Persephone, I demand to see my daughter. As you wish. If Calliope is your true desire, I can help you. But be warned, ghost of Sparta. The world of man will suffer because of your choice. I care little for the world and its suffering. Where is she? If you are to see your daughter again, you must become worthy of Elysium. Cast your weapons at the Forsaken Tree, and let it release the evils of your past. Only then will you be free of your sins, and be granted passage through the Divine Gates. You have done well, Kratos. Walk through the portal and find the one you seek. Pathetic mortals for a thousand years, and it is always the same. Serving yourself before the needs of others has always been your flaw. 
but no matter. For now you serve my purpose. It is time for all that came before to end. The Titan will fulfill his role and finish what I have started. I released Atlas. You? As you were pathetically disarming yourself, Atlas completed the task I set him out to do. With the power of the sun in his hands, it is only a matter of time before he destroys the pillar that holds the world. And Olympus with it. But why? Do you think it was my choice to wed a man I did not love? Live a life I did not choose? I was betrayed by the very gods that once saw me as their own, but no more. Once the pillar is destroyed, the world will revert into chaos. And what is to become of you? I will have my peace and be free from this miserable existence. I will perish, but it is my choice. Father, what's happening? I'm scared. In your selfish choice to be with your daughter, you have caused her ruin. No. Elysium falls to Kratos. She will perish. No! I will not let the gods take her from me again! Father! The choice was clear to him, yet impossible to make. To stay with his daughter meant the end of the world and the end of her. To stop Persephone and Atlas would mean forsaking his daughter forever. While his hatred and anger for the gods grew ever stronger, he knew there was but one thing to do. Kratos soon realized that what he gained in humanity, he lost in power. He would need to become the monster he once was if he was to defeat Persephone. Spartan, witness the end. this world behind. Atlas!
believe the Olympians will help you. But I ask, where are your gods now, Kratos? Why do they not come to your aid? I do not need the aid of the gods! But my path is now clear to me. I will serve them! And they will keep their promise to free me from my past! I ask you, Spartan, what good is the promise of an Olympian? It is all I have, Atlas! We will meet again, Spartan. The fates have deemed it. One day, you will regret what you have done here. The mighty Atlas was left in chain, cursed to forever hold the world on his shoulders. Greater penance than even Zeus himself had placed on the Titans. The fate of Atlas had been sealed, and the goddess Persephone was no more. Kratos had saved mankind, but that mattered little to him. By forsaking his daughter, he had abandoned the only person he ever cared for. What he had long sought and finally found was now forever lost. As the sun chariot rose higher in the sky and the might of Helios shone once again on the world, Morpheus retreated to the shadows. Kratos gained little satisfaction from his victory. With years of servitude in front of him, he would need to confront his past and fight to reclaim the humanity he lost on the day his dark legend was born. The dire toll of his relentless battles finally caught up with him as Kratos fell from the chariot to the earth. Was this sacrifice too much for one to bear, even for the man who was known as the Ghost of Sparta? He has again served us well, Athena. He is a remarkable mortal. He is weak. Shall we help him? He'll live. They must. of Olympus have abandoned me. Now there is no hope. And Kratos cast himself from the highest mountain in all of Greece. After ten years of suffering, ten years of endless nightmares, it would finally come to an end. Death would be his escape from madness. But it had not always been this way. Kratos had once been a champion of the gods. If it 
Don't you? The visions, they were real. The gods came to me, told me their champion would come and rescue us from the Hydra. But you're too late. We're pinned down. Oh, these creatures, they came from nowhere. The ships are all destroyed. All hope is lost, Spartan, even for you. Kratos, before you reach Athens, there is a task you must complete. This beast, this Hydra, it has terrorized my seas for far too long. Your skills are admirable, but you will need assistance. You will need the power of the gods. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power and use it to defeat your enemies. Go with the gods, Kratos. Go forth in the name of Olympus. Back! Back! Get them away from the ship! Why won't they die? It's the giant one! He keeps healing the others! No, I... God! We'll never get out of here! Doomed! We're doomed! We're all... Slaughtered like animals, the victims lay before him, a reminder of his own past, a past he could never escape. <laughs> his only solace was the sea, endlessly sailing from one harbor to the next in service to the gods of Olympus. All his hopes rested with them. For no matter how much wine he consumed or how many women he took to his bed, nothing on earth could rid him of the horrors that plagued his mind. <laughs> Athena! Ten years, Athena. I have faithfully served the gods for ten years. When will you relieve me of these nightmares? We request one final task of you, Kratos. Your greatest challenge awaits in Athens, where even now my brother Ares lays siege as we speak. Athens is on the verge of destruction. It is the will of Ares, my great city fall. Zeus has forbidden the gods from waging war on each other. That is why it must be you, Kratos. Only a mortal trained by a god has a chance at defeating Ares. And if I am able to do this, to kill a god, then the visions, they will end? Complete this final task, and the past that consumes you will be forgiven. Have faith, Kratos. The gods do not forget those who come to their aid. 
Leaving the rotting carcass of the Hydra behind, Kratos set sail once more. His greatest challenge and freedom from his growing madness lay before him in the ancient city of Athens. Without help, the city will fall! The gate's destroyed! You'll have to find another one! Aphrodite. Kratos, the gods are pleased with your progress. But your current skills will not be enough to defeat the minions of Ares. I offer you the power to freeze your enemies where they stand. But you must earn such a gift. Medusa, the queen of the Gorgons. Bring me her head, Kratos, and I will give you the ability to wield its power. Go with the gods, Kratos. Go forth in the name of Olympus. Fear, Kratos. I am the Oracle of Athens, here to help you defeat Ares. Find my temple to the east, and I will show you how to murder a god. get across these monsters they'll they'll tear me apart coward lord zeus kratos you grow stronger as your journey continues but if you are to succeed in your quest you will need my aid i offer you the power of the greatest of all the gods the father of olympus I offer you the power of Zeus. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power 
and use it to defeat your enemy. You have done well, Kratos. Go with the gods. Go forth in the name of Olympus. My boy, good. Athena has chosen wisely. I knew it was so. Who are you? So, you have the blades, the skin as pale as the moon. You are the one indeed. Perhaps Athens will survive at that. <laughs> but be careful. Don't want you dying before I'm done with this grave. A grave? of a battle? Who will occupy it, old man? You will, my son. Oh, I've got a lot of digging to do indeed. All will be revealed in good time. And when all appears to be lost, Kratos, I will be there to help. And with that act, Kratos set in motion the events that would lead to his downfall. Kratos, as Athena herself has foretold. But you are late, perhaps too late to save Athens. Or is it Athens you have come to save? No, I, I can't! We must not stop! And when the Oracle Go looked into his soul, she saw a beast as well as a man. Once a captain in the Spartan army, Kratos had begun his command with only 50 soldiers. But soon his numbers grew to the thousands. His tactics were brutal, but effective. Drunk with power, he was feared by all, except one. His wife was the only one to brave his fury. How much is enough, Kratos? When will it end? When the glory of Sparta is known throughout the world. The glory of Sparta. You did this for yourself. His desire for conquest knew no bounds. But that which he desired would ultimately consume him. By the gods, why would Athena send one such as you? Stay out of my head! Choose your enemies wisely, Kratos. Your brute strength alone will not be enough to destroy Ares. Only one item in the world will allow you to defeat a god. 
Pandora's box, which lies far beyond the walls of Athens, hidden by the gods across the desert to the east. But be warned, Kratos. Many have gone in search of Pandora's box. None have returned. Kratos, the journey forward is perilous, but one you must complete if you are to have any hope of saving Athens. The Oracle spoke of Pandora's box. Can it be real? The box exists. It is the most powerful weapon a mortal can wield. And with such a weapon, I could defeat Ares. With the box, many things become possible, and so it is hidden well far across the desert of lost souls. There is safe passage through the deadly sands, but only those who hear and follow the siren's song will discover it. You must find the sirens, Kratos. Only they can guide you to Kronos, the Titan. A Titan lives? Kronos is the last. Zeus has commanded him to wander the desert endlessly, the Temple of Pandora chained to his back until the swirling sands rip the very flesh from his bones. Stay true to the song of the siren, Kratos. Your journey begins here. Pray it leads you back to Athens with Pandora's box. Kronos, the last of the mighty titans, emerged from the desert sands. On his back, Pandora's temple awaited, massive and patient, ready to challenge all who went in search of its guarded treasure. For three days, Kratos climbed the sheer walls of the mountain. He knew he would either recover Pandora's box or perish inside the cursed temple, never to return to the world of man. So, you think you can conquer the Temple of the Gods, do you? It's never been done, you know. 
Sooner or later, the Harpies will bring what's left of you back for me to burn. The gods hid Pandora's box in here, so no mortal would ever claim its power. And yet, year after year, I open the gate for more and more soldiers and place more and more bodies on these pyres. If I were you, I'd leave now. But I can see you are determined. Very well. May the gods grant you strength to conquer the perils that lay before you. Good luck, Spartan. Kratos, the gods demand more of you. You have learned to use the Blades of Chaos well, but they alone will not carry you to the end of your task. I offer you the very blade I used to slay a titan. Take this gift and use it to complete your quest. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power and use it to defeat your enemies. The wrecked bodies of those who had gone in search of Pandora's box lay before him, and at once Kratos knew who was responsible. For this was not the first time he'd seen the ruined Ares and his minions had left in their wake. Kratos had experienced it firsthand years before. The youngest and boldest captain in the Spartan army, Kratos inspired fierce loyalty in his men. It had always been enough to carry them through any battle until this day. The barbarians to the east numbered in the thousands and descended on the Spartans without mercy. The battle lasted near hours. The discipline and training of the Spartans did little to stem the tide of the merciless barbarians. The soldiers faced a massacre, while their young captain faced the end of his brilliant career and his life. But to Kratos, victory was worth any price, even his soul. Destroy my enemies, and my life is yours. That desperate call for aid will come to haunt Kratos for all his days. By the gods, what have I become?
Hades. Your progress is impressive, Kratos. But your skills will not carry you to your ultimate goal. I offer you the souls of Hades itself. The souls of the dead. Who stand ready to fight by your side. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power. And use it to defeat your enemies. Kratos had been in service to the gods long enough to know the Harpy had been sent as a warning, a reminder from his former master of the decision that had cost Kratos everything. Had it been that long since he'd almost met his end at the hands of the barbarians? That long since he'd traded everything to save himself? Ares! The sky split apart and the god of war stepped through. Descending from Olympus, he saw the makings of a god in a mere mortal. Ares would save Kratos. He would turn him into the perfect warrior, his servant on Earth. Only a simple pledge of loyalty was required. My life is yours, Ares. From this day, I shall carry forth your will. And his fate was sealed. As promised, Ares rescued his new disciple, bringing forth the power of a god, destroying those who would slaughter Kratos and his men. As for Kratos, no mere sword and shield would befit the newest servant of the god of war. The blades of chaos, forged in the foulest depths of Hades. Once attached, the chains remained so, chained and seared to the flesh, a part of the bearer's body, a permanent reminder of Kratos' pledge. In return, ultimate power. The rage of Ares exploded from within. But soon, he would learn the true cost of such power. A cost too high even for Kratos to pay. Wretched beast! I know who it is you serve! Return to your master! Tell the god of war I am his no longer. Tell him he is not safe while I walk the earth. I will find Pandora's box. And I will use it to see him tremble and fall before me. The path before Kratos was clear, but still, the memories came rushing back, as familiar and permanent as the blades chained to his wrists. Memories of what he'd done in the name of Ares. Memories of how he'd become a servant to the god of war. A beast, his humanity robbed and replaced only with the will.
to murder. No one was safe. Entire armies fell before Kratos and the soldiers who followed him on his unending path of conquest, all in the name of his master. Those who offered resistance of any kind were dealt with quickly. They've built this temple to offer prayers to Athena! This entire village stands as an affront to Lord Ares! Burn this village! Burn it to the ground! Emboldened by the god of war, Kratos' army was ruthless, feared throughout the world for their brutality. All that mattered was conquest in the name of Kratos, their great leader, who had become near invincible. He feared nothing. But there was something about this temple, something forbidden. All his instincts told him he should never cross its threshold. Never step inside. Beware, Kratos. The dangers in the temple are greater than you know. But the village oracle's warning fell on deaf ears. His ambition would not be denied. All who opposed him would die. In that instant, the glory he had reveled in turned to horror. The image of his two final victims would stay with him for all his days. With that act, Kratos knew he could no longer serve his master. He had but one calling now, the death of Ares. He would murder the god of war. You will die for what you did that night. Your quest is at an end. You are the first mortal to ever reach Pandora's box. There is still time to save Athens. You must bring the box back to my city and use it to kill Ares. Return to Athens, Kratos. Return and save my city. You must bring Pandora's box back to Athens, Kratos. 
You cannot defeat Ares without it. After a thousand years, Pandora's box was at last freed of its confines. Kratos had found the means to destroy the God of War. Far away in Athens, Ares knew Kratos had succeeded in his quest. So, little Spartan, you've recovered Zeus's precious box. But you will not live long enough to see it opened. I will see to that. Goodbye, Spartan. You will rot in the depths of Hades for all eternity. As the life began to leave Kratos, his thoughts returned to that fateful night. Even in death. The memories, the visions would not fade. For how could he forget spilling the blood of his own family? A cruel trick orchestrated by the God of War. My wife, my child, how they were left in Sparta. You are becoming all I'd hoped you'd be, Kratos. Now, with your wife and child dead, nothing will hold you back. You'll become even stronger. You will become death itself. But as the flames consumed the temple, Kratos realized his true enemy was the god who once saved his life. The same god who had now taken everything from him. From this night forward, the mark of your terrible deed will be visible to all. The ashes of your wife and child will remain fastened to your skin, never to be removed. And with that curse, all would know him for the beast he had become. His skin white with the ash of his dead family. The ghost of Sparta had been born. In the end, in death, he had failed. As the minions of Ares claimed Pandora's box, Kratos' life faded, and his cursed soul was cast into the fires of Hades. And Kratos fell into the underworld, the river Styx beckoning below, the currents strong enough to carry even the strongest mortal to his eternal resting place. But Kratos had no intention of resting yet. He intended to live, to return to Earth and complete his quest. Let go, fool! You won't drag me down to that cursed river! There is a task left for me above. I will see it completed. You again? Kratos, and not a moment too soon. I only finished digging just a moment ago. Who are you? Now that is an interesting question. But for now, you must hurry. Athens needs you. But how did you know I was- Athena isn't the only god keeping watch on you, Spartan. Complete your task, Kratos, and the gods will forgive your sins. Kratos had traversed the desert of lost souls, bested the deadly traps of Pandora's temple, and escaped Hades itself. There was but one task left. Zeus! Do you see now what your son can do? You cast your favor on Athena, but her city lies in ruins before me. And now, 
Even Pandora's box is mine! Would you have me use it against Olympus itself? Kratos... returned even from the Underworld. Is this the best you can do, father? You send a broken mortal to defeat me, the god of war? After thousands of years, Pandora's box was finally opened. The power of the gods unleashed. Still just a mortal. Every bit as weak as the day you begged me to save your life. I am not the same man you found that day. The monster you've created has returned to kill you. You have no idea what a true monster is, Kratos. undo the deeds of the past. The nightmares that had haunted Kratos for the past ten years had now taken form and substance. His past stood before him. Kratos! What's happening? Where are we? By the gods, can this be real? You cannot save them, Kratos. You gave them up in your quest for ultimate power. There is a price to pay for everything you gain. Not that price. I didn't want them to die. No price is too high for what I offered her! And you rejected me. A god! Now, you will have no power. No magic! All that is left for you is death! Oh, not... not again. You should have joined me, Kratos! You should have been stronger! By the gods. The battle was not over. The gods, it seemed, had a final gift for Kratos. I still have allies in Olympus, Ares. Now, you will see how strong I am. <clears throat> Remember, Kratos. It was I who saved you in your time of greatest need. I haven't forgotten, Ares. I remember how you saved me. That night... I was trying to make you a great warrior. You succeeded.
Kratos had done the impossible. A mortal defeating a god. Ares was no more. The city had been saved, and would thrive again. The same could not be said for Kratos, for as he sought to rebuild his soul with the help of the gods, the truth was revealed to him. Athena, rid me of the memories that haunt me still. You have done well, Kratos. Though we mourn the death of our brother, the gods are indebted to you. We promised your sins would be forgiven, and so they are. But we never promised to take away your nightmares. No man, no god could ever forget the terrible deeds you have done. In the end, knowing the visions of his past would never leave him, Kratos made his way to the bluffs overlooking the Aegean Sea. The gods of Olympus have abandoned me. Now there is no hope. And Kratos cast himself from the highest mountain in all of Greece. After ten years of suffering, ten years of endless nightmares, it would finally come to an end. Death would be his escape from madness. The fate of Kratos was not as it seemed. The gods had other plans. Born aloft like a feather, Kratos found himself risen from the sea and placed on solid earth. You will not die this day, Kratos. The gods cannot allow one who has performed such service to perish by his own hand. Ares' tactics were brutal. His path of destruction had to be stopped. But now there is an empty throne in Olympus, and a new god of war is needed. Take these stairs, Kratos. They lead to your ultimate reward. from that point forward. Throughout the rest of time, whenever men rode forth to battle for good cause or for evil, they did so under the watchful eye of the man who had defeated a god. They were driven forward by Kratos, the mortal who had become the new god of war. Kratos, the ghost of Sparta had taken his place amongst the Olympians as the god of war. The bloodshed, the relentless battles, had finally brought him here. Ares was dead, and though Olympus beckoned, visions of his mortal existence still haunted him. <laughs> Kratos knew that this was not a mere vision, for with the gods, nothing was ever as it seemed. The vision of his past set Kratos in search of answers, answers that lay in the temple of Poseidon, deep within the city of Atlantis. This is not a wise course of action, Kratos. It was a dream, nothing more. The visions still haunt me, Athena. The visions you promised to take away. But this vision, I can change. 
Perhaps it is a vision best left unchanged. There is more to this than you know. Please. of Thanatos, the god of death, a vestige of a long-forgotten time. Erected before the rule of the Olympians, this temple was not placed here by mortal hands. Within its walls, lay a passage to the domain of death. In the distance stood the Temple of Poseidon, a monument erected by the Atlanteans to the greatness of their protector, the god of the seas. Know thyself, and your path shall be revealed. How oh, I have missed you, Kratos. What treachery is this? Another trick of the gods? No, my son. It is me. Your father brought me here. I have waited so long. My father? <coughs> we do not have much time, Kratos. Your brother. 
does not have much time. Trapped in torment, deep in death's domain. But he's gone. You told me that he was- I'm sorry. I had no choice but to lie. You must listen now. The Temple of Ares in Sparta holds the secret that will lead to your brother. The road will not be easy, but you must help him. You must. Kratos, <coughs> he needs you. This cannot be. Why? Why would you do this? Your father forbid me to tell you. My him. father? Who is my father? With her last breath, she released the weight of her burden and finally found the peace she had long sought. But for Kratos, the rage was almost palpable. Fate had once again pushed him to the brink of madness. foretold of our salvation, ghost of Sparta. I have not come here for you or your kind. Do not be so naive, Kratos. Your path led you to me. You need my help. I need nothing from you, Thera. If you do not free me, then you will share my fate. You will die here with me. Free me. Free me and my power will be yours. Without it, we will both remain prisoners of our torments.
battle with Scylla had shaken the very foundation of Poseidon's kingdom. Atlantis was sinking. But that mattered little to the ghost of Sparta. Athena! You lied to me! The gods lied to me! My brother lives. He lives! Athena! Don't let your rage blind you, Kratos. There is much you do not know. Be warned. They will all try to stop you. Hold fast, Dominus. We've won the battle. Hold fast. <coughs> <coughs> We have angered them. The gods. They sent a message to all who defy their glory. But we... We survived. Spared us. She... She... Who spared you? The daughter. A message to the ghost of Sparta. <coughs> the labor begins <coughs> death awaits the ghost <coughs> he will never get the skull <coughs> the skull Fool of all, Kratos. The ghost of Sparta. The slayer of Ares. And now, the destroyer of Atlantis. You should take heed, Spartan. The destruction of Poseidon's kingdom will not bode well on Olympus. I care little for the gods. And yet you walk beside them. I did not ask for the throne of Ares. You were given the honor to walk among the gods, and yet you spit on it like it was dirt. The gods can keep their honor. I wish only to find my brother. Ah, yes, the other one. <laughs> Try if you must, but you will not succeed. You will never find him. And in the wake of your destruction, you have sunk the only path to your salvation. This is all that awaits you at the end of your journey. Not before I find Demos. Be wise, my son, and turn back now. Do not seek the domain of death. <laughs>
I don't know where he is. Please, I swear to you. Erinus, the daughter of Thanatos, the god of death. Pain given form, evil given life. Ghost of Sparta, the god slays. Your brother belongs to Thanatos. So, so. You cannot stop me! Nothing can!
from your back. Is that all you have? Is that all you have? A Spartan warrior! No, brother! You are weak! Even in death, a Spartan stands tall for battle. You are a Spartan, are you not? Yes, Kratos. After the great war with the Titans, the Oracle had foretold the demise of the Olympian gods and the destruction of Olympus. She saw that it would be brought about not by the hands of the Titans, who thirsted for revenge, but by the hands of a mortal, a marked warrior. Whoever controlled the marked war controlled the fate of Olympus. Ikari! Paternal lessons spurt of Thera Ivan Kali. Forgive me. my lord. Work of this and erect a statue befitting of your glory. That's right, man! Now pull! All hail Lord Kratos, the 
god of war! All hail, Lord Kratos! My lord, I have something for you. I shall return. Face thyself, and your fate shall be seen. Kratos stood in the Temple of Ares. It was a somber reminder of who and what he had become. The ghost of Sparta, the god slayer, and now the very person he had once despised, the god of war. Kratos knew he had to return to Atlantis, back to the sunken city. Only there would he find the entrance to Death's domain, and the brother he left behind. Your weapons, my lord. I have looked after them as if they were my own. You have served. Thank you, my lord. Be warned, Ghost of Sparta. To 
not pursue this path. The gods forbid it. The gods have no power over me, Thanatos. Where is my brother? <laughs> if you persist, that the fates will prevent me from ending your path. Ares was unwise to believe you could serve him. Do not stand in my way, Thanatos. Or Ares' blood is not the only I will shield. <laughs> Kratos knew that deep within the raging abyss lay the answer to a question he was not yet prepared to ask. Was Deimos still alive? Created my kingdom! I shall not forget this, ghost of Sparta! You will answer for this affront! It is not too late to turn back, Kratos. No good will come of this journey. The gods... I am done with the gods! Return to Olympus and leave me be. Your brother was a threat to Olympus, Kratos. What was done, had to be done. Forgive me. Forgive me. Why? Why did you help him? I was 
there for you, Great Tempus. You had to be saved. You should have saved him. I should have saved him. There is more to this than you could possibly know, Kratos. Lies and riddles. That's all you give me, Athena. I will save my brother. And you will stay out of my way. dark netherworld, nestled between the land of the living and the realm of the dead. A purgatory ruled by the god of death, Thanatos. The doors to the domain of death, a place neither mortal nor god had dared enter. Worshipped long before the Olympians, Thanatos, the god of death, dwelled within. Demons. Spartan never 
lets his back hit the ground. Right, brother? I will not lose you again, Demos. Come! The fight is not over.
Come now. I have a fresh pot for you. It is done. You have let go of that which made you mortal. Your ties to this world are severed. You are ready to be a god. Is this all a game to you, Athena? It is not over, Athena. The gods will pay for this. Forgive me, brother. By defeating Ares, Kratos, the once mortal warrior, became the new god of war. However, Kratos soon found himself alone on Olympus, shunned by his fellow gods. But Kratos had no need for the love of petty gods. He had found a new family in the warriors of Sparta, gaining solace from his past in the carnage to battle. My lord, Kratos! Another city is ready to fall! Soon all shall know the glory of Sparta! Enough, Kratos! With every city you destroy, the wrath of Olympus grows. Soon I will no longer be able to protect you. I need no protection. Do not forget that it was I who made you a god, Ghost of Sparta. Do not turn your back on me. I owe you nothing. Then you leave me no choice. Kratos had turned the pain of his memories into hatred. Hatred for the gods, 
who had refused to free him from the nightmares of his past deeds. And so he went to Rhodes to deliver the final blow to the besieged city. Your help, Zeus! I can take down this beast! I offer you more than help, Kratos. I offer you power. I offer you the Blade of Olympus. It was this blade that ended the Great War and defeated the Titans. Drain your godly powers into the sword, Kratos. Only then will you reach your full potential. Why do you aid me now? What I do now, I do for the good of all Olympus. Do you see, gods of Olympus? Do you need more proof than this? Placing all of his godly power into the weapon had rendered Kratos mortal, vulnerable to the arms of death. Bloodied and beaten, he knew that to have any hope of survival, he must retrieve the Blade of Olympus.
Humiliated before his Spartan army, Kratos dragged himself up from the dirt. Attend to this matter myself. Athena refused to undo her mistake. Imagine caring for a creature such as yourself. Why? Why would you betray me? It is you who would betray me. Am I to stand idly by while Olympus is threatened? Your hands are already stained by the blood of a god. I will not let Ares' fate be my own. The gods are petty and pathetic, and your rule is weak. I grow tired of this insolence. I am the king of Olympus. And it is my way that is the way of the gods. You must vow to forever serve me. I serve no one. Then you'll leave me no choice. God struggle! <laughs> Submit! I would rather die! It did not have to be this way, my son. This path is of your choosing. A choice from the gods is as useless as the gods themselves. Even now, as you draw your last breath, you continue to defy me? Everything you have ever known, Kratos, will now suffer because of your sacrilege. You will never be the ruler of Olympus. The cycle ends here. As the life drained out of Kratos, the arms of Hades reached out to claim their prize. But there was more resting on Kratos' shoulders than he could know. Kratos was destined to bring about change so severe that it would shake the very pillars of Mount Olympus. His death was something that I could not allow. Ares! Destroy my enemies, and my life is yours! Here. 
this is not the end. Who are you? I am the Titan Gaia, ever-present mother of Earth. I have watched you become a powerful warrior. And I have been with you through all the events of your life. But I can no longer simply watch. We will help you defeat Zeus. Death is an escape, Kratos. You are a warrior of Sparta, not a coward. Only a coward accepts death. I am no coward. Then you must fight. I will show you the way to the Sisters of Fate. Only with their power will you defeat Zeus. My lord, I knew you could not be killed. I never lost faith. But our brothers are dead. to find the Sisters of Fate and travel back through time to the moment Zeus betrayed you, for only then will he truly be vulnerable. Kratos, to succeed, you will need more help than I can give. you in this torment. Zeus, my only crime was helping mankind. When I took the fires of Olympus to the mortals, Zeus considered it a betrayal. As punishment, he made me mortal and condemned me to be savagely consumed every day by this Cursed bird! And then, with the fall of night, I am healed. How long have I been here? How long have I suffered this curse? I truly do not know. Please 
ghost of Sparta, release me from my torment! Prometheus from the torment of the gods. His flesh has tainted the fires of Olympus and embodied it with the power of the Titans. These ashes will give you great strength, Kratos. Take them within you and use this strength to defeat your enemies. of creation, home to the sisters of fate. Here, the path to your true destiny begins. The island is fraught with danger. It was created to prevent all from reaching the three sisters of fate. The power of the sisters will allow you to return to that moment when Zeus betrayed and killed you, Kratos thus changing your fate and the fate of others. Find a way across to the island, Kratos. For there lies your path to the Sisters of Fate. Why do you aid me, Gaia? Zeus must be stopped, Kratos. The story of revenge has been told before. You know of the mighty Titan, Kronos. So fearful was Kronos of the Oracle's prediction that his own children would rise against him, that he decided to imprison them all in his belly. Rhea stood by and watched as her children were devoured one by one. But when the time came for the last of her children to be eaten, she was unable to bear another such loss and devised a trick to save the baby Zeus. Rhea commanded the eagle to secret her son away. He was taken to an island far beyond the watchful eyes of Kronos. safe. 
I nurtured his desire to free his brothers and sisters from Kronos. But my foolish act of compassion would haunt the Titans forever. For in sparing Zeus, we allowed him to return to us with vengeance in his heart. He betrayed all of the Titans for the sins of just one. The sins of his father, Kronos. of Sparta, then what they say is true. Theseus, of all the fools who try, you would be the last I would expect to seek an audience with the Sisters of Fate. And you are the last one I would expect to become a servant of the Fates. I serve and protect the Sisters of Fate for the glory of Zeus. The time of Zeus is coming to an end. Hmm. You seek the sisters to kill Zeus. <laughs> you no longer possess the powers of a god, Kratos. I doubt you're capable of killing me, <laughs> let alone the king of Olympus. Let me pass, and I will let you live, old man. I do not think that is your choice to make. Come forward. Let us finally see who is the greatest warrior in all of Greece. Age of the Titans drop. of my magic. For the good of the Titans, I, Kronos, now bestow what is left upon you. Use it well.
Hear me, fallen god. None defy what the fates decree. That is how it must be. Only death awaits you at the end of your journey. My death is what began this journey. The fates have not deemed victory for you. Your soul will never find peace for what you have become. I am what the gods have made me! Hidden deep within the spire lie the sisters. They control the threads of fate. Gain control of your thread, and you will be able to return to the moment when Zeus betrayed you. Let the rage of the Titans fuel your blades, Crater. You, warrior, help me! Help me! Took him. Oh, 
All our men are dead. Jason has the fleece. You must save him. The fleece is the key to Medusa's temple. No! That door was my only escape! I have faced test after test in search of the systems. And now you have dashed it all away! You certainly do not live up to your reputation, Ghost of Sparta. But perhaps this is a test. Are you watching me now, sisters? Give me a sign! Am I the great Perseus to kill this fallen god to receive an audience with you? Will that allow me to bring my love back from the grasp of Hades himself? If not, at least I can bathe in the glory of being the one who brought down the mighty Kratos, the Slayer of Gods. Although I hardly think a harpy's fool such as yourself deserves such praise. It is my test! Do you not know who I am? Have you not heard of Icarus? It is my fate to make it across! None other! This is my test! The sisters will grant me an audience, not you. You will die, White Warrior! You will die! I will reach the sisters of fate, and I will use your wings to do so. The sisters will not allow you, a fallen god, to bathe in their light!
the sisters have sent you to help me. I realize now. The Sisters' Temple is far above Kratos. You must get back to the surface. Who breaks my chains of torment? You are strong, but you are far too small, even for an Olympian, to be a god. Kratos. You dare show your face to me after what you have done? I will make you suffer, Kratos. Why would I ever trust a servant? <laughs> Kratos, still the arrogant and foolish warrior. You have not changed. Hmm. And how do you plan to defeat the king of the gods? By taking the blade of Olympus back and driving it into Zeus's heart. It holds the power I once wielded as the god of war. The blade of Olympus. I have not heard that name in many years. Since... Since the end of the Great War. Bloodlust and power raged within Zeus. His desire to rule over mortals was intolerable to us. The war between the Titans and the Olympians forged the landscape of the mortal world. It was a war that we knew the Titans must win. If we lost, it would mean an end to the golden age of the Titan rule. Peace and prosperity for mankind would be no more. continued despite my capture. Then Zeus created a powerful weapon to end the Great War. A weapon forged from the heavens and the earth. The Blade of Olympus. 
I banish you to the darkest pits of Tartarus! in the torment of the underworld, banished to the darkest pits of Hades. I would have destroyed Zeus if you had not put me here, slave of the gods. I no longer do the bidding of the gods, Atlas. I have stomached their betrayal for the last time. Show me the way to the sisters, and I will kill Zeus once and for all. What Gaia says is true, ghost of Sparta. You are a powerful warrior and a worthy ally of the Titan. Then tell me how to find the temple of the Sisters of Fate! None. Not even the Titan know how to reach the Sisters' temple. But it is said he who finds it will wield great power. I have given you the last of my magic, Spartan, and I will help you across the great chasm. But that is all I can offer. Hear me, sisters who control the threads! Keep going! Another searches for what only the sisters may give. Read it! As proof that he is worthy! No! Please, no! I cannot do it! Read! Accept this sacrifice of my blood. With this sacrifice, you have proven your resolve to seek out the Sisters of Fate. However, this is but a small step in your quest to gain an audience with us. Kratos, you know not what you do. There are things far more important than your revenge. Read the words! Hear me, noble sisters who forge our destinies. Another seeks an audience to change their fate. Read! As proof that he is worthy, 
No, Kratos! This will be the end of us all! You must stop! This is your purpose! Die with honor! I give my blood to illuminate the way. Like the fiery phoenix who is resurrected from his ashes, you too search for a second chance at life. Find these ashes and free the phoenix. Only then will you find the path to the Temple of the Face. Too far to fail! Sparta is no more. What treachery is this? Zeus. He came under the cloak of darkness into Sparta. begged for their god to save them. But you did not come.
No choice. I had to seek out the sisters to change the fate of our beloved Sparta. For I am all that is left. <coughs> Now you are all that is left. I have faith that our brothers of Sparta will live on through the true god of war. <coughs> Zeus! Is this how you face me, coward? I am through doing the bidding of the gods! Come down here and face me now, Zeus! There is much at stake here. I cannot defeat the gods. Victory favors you, Kratos. But you must grab hold of your destiny and command it. There is a war on the horizon, and we need you to lead us into battle. To what end? The death of Zeus. If you relent, Zeus will torment you still. He will not rest knowing you live. And when you die, his brother Hades will see that your soul is tortured for all eternity. You will have no rest until you destroy him. Take within you this fire that burned your beloved Sparta. Let it fuel your rage and hasten your steps towards destiny. The time to act is upon us, Kratos. This battle is just the beginning of a great war that is to come. of the Titans fuel your blades, Kratos. Kratos. We sisters determine the fate of all. It was I who deemed that the Titans lose the Great War, 
and I who have allowed you to come this far. It is not your destiny to kill Zeus. You no longer control my destiny. I see Gaia has filled you with her lies. I have warned you. Let me pass. <laughs> you have always amused us, Kratos. But know this, mortal. There is no power greater than the Sisters of Fate. If you challenge us, you will die. Defy fate, Kratos! For we have woven the events of your life. And now, that life is at an end. <laughs> We control your destiny, foolish mortal! With a whim, we can end your life! <laughs> or allow you to live. Search your memory, Kratos. The sword which you stand on delivered your victory against Ares. Without it, you will be the one who dies this day, not Ares. We can change your past and set your future. This is the power of the fates! <laughs> was never meant for a mortal like you! Prosso weaves the thread of life for every mortal god and time. Find your thread, and you will be able to control the mirrors of the fates, the source of their power, and use them as a gateway to return to the time when Zeus betrayed you. Even now, as you draw your last breath, you continue to defy me? No matter. <clears throat> How can this be? The Sisters of Fate have aided you. Unexpected. The Sisters are dead. Mm. I underestimated you. A mistake I do not intend to repeat.
told you I would make you pay for what you did! I am through playing with you, Kratos! have already deemed me victorious. No, Kratos! Stop! No! Why do you sacrifice yourself? To save Olympus. I do not seek to destroy Olympus. Only Zeus. Zeus is Olympus. <laughs> he brought this to himself. Because of fear, Kratos. A fear felt by his father, Kronos. A fear that wrought the Great War. A fear that drove Zeus to kill you. His own son. His son? Just as Zeus was compelled to destroy his father, Kronos. You are compelled to do the same. No son should destroy his own father. No. I have no father. God after God will deny you, Kratos. They will protect Zeus. Zeus must live so that Olympus will prevail. If all on Olympus will deny me my vengeance, then all on Olympus will die. I have lived in the shadow of the gods for long enough. The time of the gods has come to an end. Remember, Kratos, you have the power to control time itself. Expecting you, ghost of Sparta. The gods are far too powerful for us to defeat now. All on Olympus tremble at my name. Zeus is weak, 
Ares and Athena are dead, and I wield the blade. We can win the Great War, but not in this time. Together, we will destroy the petty gods, and we will see Olympus crumble before us. Come with me, Gaia. Return to my time. Victory awaits. We have faced far worse than this one fallen mortal. But we are the gods. We whom the mortals worship. We who rule over this land. We who will not be swept aside by this petulant fool. Brothers, put aside the petty grievances that have splintered us for so long. We will unite, we will stand together, and I will wipe out this plague. Olympus will prevail. Before the Age of the Twilight set upon the gods, a legend rose to claim his place among them. And even though Kratos sat on the throne as the new god of war, he was haunted by visions of his family. A family he himself murdered. But the hands of death could not defeat him. The sisters of fate could not control him. And on this day, the man, the legend, Kratos will have his revenge.
my vengeance ends now. We were forged in victory. A victory that ended the Great War and brought forth the reign of Mount Olympus. Born from the depths of the underworld. Rooted in the river of souls. Our mountain emerged out of the chaos. As it grew, so too did the might of the Olympians. He created a world of peace, a world of prosperity, a world that lives in the shadow and safety of my mountain. A mountain that has come to be the absolute measure of strength and power. This day, that power is to be tested. The mortal Kratos seeks to destroy all that I have wrought. Brothers, put aside the petty grievances that have splintered us for so long. We will unite. We will stand together. And I will wipe out this plague. Olympus will prevail! I bring the destruction of Olympus! The Titans will fail again!
that does not hide, Poseidon! Leave the sea and face me! You have disrespected the gods for the last time, Kratos! I will leave nothing of you in my wake! Zeus should have kept you where you belong. No matter how many gods fall, there will always be another to stand against you. They will fall as well. The death of Olympus means the death of us all. Then prepare for your death, Poseidon.
You can no longer hide behind the skirts of Athena. Athena is dead because of the rage that consumes you, Kratos. What more will you destroy? The hands of death could not defeat me. The sisters of fate could not hold me. And you will not see the end of this day. I will have my revenge! Petulant child! I will tolerate your insolence no more! of Hades have never held me! Death cannot hold those of purpose, Kratos. Athena? I have missed you, Spartan. I... I don't... And my sacrifice to save Zeus has brought me to a higher existence. You still appear to be an Olympian. Appearances can be deceiving, Kratos. So can the children of Olympus. Perhaps. But remember, my death came by your blade. My blade was meant for Zeus. Be quick with your words. As we speak, the war for Olympus rages on, and mankind suffers. Let them suffer. The death of Zeus is all that matters. Zeus will not fall as easily as Ares. To destroy the king of the gods, you must seek the source of the strength, the flame of Olympus. You once sacrificed yourself to save Zeus, and now you seek to destroy him? 
What has brought about this change? I see truth where I did not before. Perhaps these will earn back your trust. These are the Blades of Exile. They will help guide you on your journey to the flame. Remember, as long as Zeus reigns, there is no hope for mankind. Destroy the flame craters, and the very foundations of Olympus will crumble. Enough, Spartan. Hades, he sentenced me to this eternal torture. My prison of tinder. But now that you are here, you can free me. All I have left is my bow. Please, free me. And it is yours. <laughs> <laughs> of Olympus and Order of Zeus, we are the three judges. Face your final judgment, mortal. King Aeacus has found you wanting. King Radamanthus has found you worthy. It falls to me, King Minos, to make the final decision. Your future is cloaked in shadow. The realm of the afterlife is not yet ready for you. Beyond that door waits your destiny. Father? Calliope? Oh. You are not my daughter. No. But I know who you are. You know of me? They said you would come. Play the toys, Kratos. Show yourself, Hades. Another one of your tricks. As usual, Spartan, you are gravely mistaken. Face me, coward! So eager, Kratos. Relax. Soon enough, we will have our time to play. Leave me be! I tell you, I have paid the price. Calm yourself, Smith God. Uh, uh, ghost of Sparta! It is you. Well, well, well. I thought Zeus would have killed you by now. I thought you would have escaped this cavern by now. <laughs> Zeus may have imprisoned me here, but you are the reason I live in torment. I did you no wrong, Hephaestus. I pursue only one Olympian. Well, as long as it's only one Olympian. <laughs> I seek the flame of Olympus. Do you know of it? For what purpose, Spartan? For the purpose I have chosen. Now tell me, do you know of the flame? All true children of Olympus know of it. We've all come to respect its power. But don't be fooled by its enticing glow. Neither God nor man can touch its lethal flame. I only need to find it. <laughs> if you can find your way out of the underworld, I'm sure you can find your way to the flame of Olympus. <laughs> you have been truly helpful, Hephaestus. Kratos? How do you know of me? You're the ghost of Sparta. Everyone knows who you are. Everyone is afraid of you. 
There are reasons for that. I'm not afraid of you. It is good you're not afraid, child. Fear is a heavy burden. I'm not a child, Kratos. It does not matter what you are. My concerns lay elsewhere. Kratos, please. I need you to free me. The quest for freedom is also a heavy burden. I cannot help you. Can it be? Does this mean Lord Hades rules no longer? The god of the underworld is dead. Dead? Ah, Hades deserved to suffer, though I thought his death impossible. Olympians overestimate themselves. <laughs> Interesting. I will keep that in mind, Spartan. Ha ha ha. You need the soul of a god to use the Hyperion Gate, Kratos. And that one has not been used for centuries. I'm sure it's broken, otherwise I would have seen my beautiful... Uh, you know, Kratos, I wasn't always like this. A monster. I was once the most prized craftsman in all of Olympus. Zeus rewarded me with my marriage to the beautiful Aphrodite. My mother, Hera, bragged of my talent. But the day you killed Ares was the day my world was torn from me. That day, Zeus became the fiend you now know. 
Worst of all, he took my beloved daughter, Pandora. My reason for living. I spend my time here trying to recreate her. I fail again and again. She still lives, Spartan. I can feel it. You. You, Kratos. You can bring her back to me. Your child is not my concern. But surely you can understand. You were once a father, too. Remember your purpose, Kratos. The twilight is upon us. His death is our only hope. Understand this, Athena. Zeus will die. to an end, Gaia. Nothing more. But I must face Zeus. The Titans must take down Olympus. No! This is my war, not yours. to repay me. Tell me where I can find the Flame of Olympus. The Flame? <laughs> you will never defeat Zeus, Spartan. <clears throat> you will forfeit your life in trying. 
Of all the lives you should worry about, Helios, mine is not one of them. Feel the power of the sun! Zeus, you must step into the flame to receive its power. You lie, Helios! Hephaestus told me the flame kills all who touch it. And you believe him? That freak has fallen from the graces of Olympus! That is exactly why I believe him. My death will not lead you to Zeus. That is where you are wrong. <laughs> cannot help you. But you're the only one who can. I know it. I trust you. You shouldn't.
<laughs> Look who it is. Kratos, the ghost of Sparta. The fallen god. The cursed mortal. To catch a fly from the ass of Zeus is not worth my time, Hermes. A coward's words, Kratos. You don't try to catch me because you know you can't. Kratos, where are you off to today? <laughs> kill any family members lately? Oh, that's right. You're off to kill your father, Zeus. <laughs> Won't happen, can't happen. Kratos is on a fool's errand. Again. Never, never learn. Never, never change. Kratos, the fool who killed his own blood. Kratos, the fool among mortals and gods. Forever, ever cursed. Forever, ever doomed. Consumed by vengeance to his last breath. The Spartan lights the way to dusty death. <laughs> Pandora's box. What is the meaning of this? Your eyes do not deceive you, Kratos. It is the same box you opened years ago. The power to kill a god still rests inside. I released those powers when I killed Ares. No. Trapped inside that box, there is a stronger power. It has been missing from the world. It all began when Zeus triumphed over the Titans in the Great War. <coughs> Zeus understood that the evils born from that battle, if left free, would destroy the world of man and gods. To contain these evils, Zeus commissioned Hephaestus to build a vessel strong enough to hold them. Fear. Greed. Hate. He locked them all away in the box in hopes that they would never again infect his reign. When you opened the box to kill Ares, you drew from the forbidden powers. After witnessing your victory, fear gripped Zeus. But the flame is deadly. How can I recover the box? With its namesake, Kratos. Pandora? She is the key to destroying the flame. The key to our revenge. This will be difficult, Spartan. A simple child will not trouble me, Athena. I hope you are right, Ghost of Sparta. But you lack speed. <laughs> You've been lucky in battle, Spartan, but your luck ends today.
a mortal. I thought Spartans fought with honor, and yet you seek to kill me when I have no way to defend myself? Not fair. But you have your own sense of honor, right, Kratos? And what has that honor brought you? Nothing but nightmares of your failure. Today you may defeat me, but in the end, Kratos, in the end, you'll betray only yourself. Another bastard child of Zeus. Just in time for the final act. Hera. You look terrible, dear. Still wanting to kill my husband, I suppose? You know I seek revenge on Zeus. Can't say that I blame you. Since you killed my son Ares. Fear of you consumes him. His fears will not matter when he is dead. I'll drink to that. Hera, I seek the child Pandora. Pandora? That wretched little thing my son Hephaestus created? Well, we can't have you do that, my dear. 
Destroy him. Hello, brother. This is not between us, Hercules. Isn't it? You were always Zeus's favorite. The air on Olympus affects your thinking. Zeus has no favorites. Think about it, brother. While I was stuck cleaning the Augean stables, he chose you to destroy Ares. I'm not convinced. How about this? While you were being crowned the god of war, I was sent to find an apple. <laughs> they called them labors. Ha! Perhaps he did allow me to kill the Nemean lion, but he made your name known amongst the people. A fierce warrior, a killer made hero, a man made a god. But this time, brother, this time I will destroy you. Call it my 13th and final labor. Soon I will become the god of war and claim the throne for myself. You aspire to be an Olympian. Yet their reign is in We'll see about that. Where you are. I hear something. He's close. Just tell me how to find you. The labyrinth! Find the labyrinth! Ah! Help! Help, Kratos! Pandora! Pandora, what's happened? Where are you? My son. You trifle with matters you cannot possibly understand. Stay away from this... this... thing. Zeus. Aphrodite, I knew you would return to me. Kratos, tell me, has Aphrodite conquered another god of war? That is a question you should ask your wife. I seek the labyrinth. I thought you sought only the flame. What could you possibly want in? No! 
Stay away from her! Stay away from Pandora, Kratos! You are the reason she is in the labyrinth! The reason I live here in hell! I have done you no wrong, Hephaestus. Oh, but you have, Spartan. You opened the box. I did what had to be done. Clearly, you don't understand. The evils of the Great War cannot easily be contained. I forged the box in a power greater than the gods themselves. The flame of Olympus. As the raw metal took shape, I realized the flame was the safest place to protect it. The lock was set. All that was needed was a key, a way to retrieve the box. Created from the very heart of the flame, the key took on a life of its own. Pandora, a child, neither living nor dead. I grew to love her, Spartan, and she grew to love me as her father. When Zeus came to take the box, I hid Pandora away. I told him that storing the box on the back of Kronos would be the safest place. After all, who could best the Titan? I lied. I did it to save my child. Surely you can understand that. It was your triumph using the box that revealed my deceit. Zeus tortured me until I confessed the truth of my beloved Pandora. He took her away, leaving me alone in my torment. Uh, don't you understand? If you take her to the flame... Understand this, Smith God. I will stop at nothing to destroy Zeus. But if you... You're right, Spartan. If it means the death of Zeus, I'd be happy to help you. Perhaps... Yes, yes, of course. We'll need the Omphala Stone. With it, I'll make you a weapon. I have weapons. Ah, but not like this. This weapon will give you the retribution you so rightly deserve. The stone rests in the pit of Tartarus. Bring it to me and I will help you.
I will make you into a bloody stain. Kratos, 
you sent me to my death? No, no, no. Calm yourself, Kratos. I knew you were up to the challenge. I truly needed the Ophelo Stone. You'll see. Make it quick, old man. <laughs> A weapon such as this can't be rushed. Mm. Ah. This will be worth the wait. A fine weapon like no other. As I promised. I told him to kill you. I told him the day you were born to kill you. But he would not have it. My stupid husband took pity. And now look what you have wrought. Look at this. Look at it. They're dying because of you. Everything is dying because of you. The sun is gone. The ocean swallowed the land. Disease infects what remains. I am doing all I can to keep them alive. But you... Your ruthless murdering of the gods has caused all of this! Ah! You think this garden is not protected? Your brute strength may have bested Hercules. But your simple mind will never find a way out. I look forward to watching you die here, as an old man.
simple, mortal. How dare you challenge us? You think you can just walk away? We aren't finished. <laughs> What have you done? What have you done to me? You coward. You destroy all you touch. <laughs> Good luck with that little whore you call Pandora. Next, Dad, next, I will, I will take the gift of warriors. I stole it. That will give me the power, the, the power to bring my son back to me. Beautiful Icarus! Ah. Good, good. You have the Ice Storm. The Scorpion must be defeated. The Ice Storm! That is the secret of the Labyrinth. To escape it, we must assemble it! Oh, good, good. You, you've already started. I've seen the cubes moving into place. Now, once inside, you must use the gift of Boreas. It is the catalyst that drives the Labyrinth. You're not, but you're, but you, what have, what have you done with my child? My boy, where is my boy? Your son is dead, Daedalus. My, 
boy, my, my child, no, no, no! I took the gift of Hades, the liquid fire, and the ice storm to create the power of the labyrinth. Create the power! The power to create, the power to destroy. The king of the gods has forsaken me. He said that if I built the labyrinth, I would see the return of my son. He said, he, he said that if I took the liquid fire, oh my boy, oh my child. Pandora! What has he done? he would kill you. He can't. We must leave this place. Come. I can show you the way. <coughs> I'm ready. This way. Thank you, Kratos. Our journey is far from over, Pandora. By its end, you will not be back at me. I know I look it, but I'm not a child, Kratos. I've seen many terrible things. I'm not afraid. I understand what lies ahead. I saw Zeus torture my father. I saw him beaten because of me. I should have helped him, but I was afraid. Hephaestus did what every father should do. Protect his child. No! It's all my fault. I failed him because of fear. Fear is its own kind of darkness. In that darkness, I heard what the gods said about me. They called me a monster. Words mean nothing. Perhaps. But in their words, I heard fear. The fear of an ash-covered warrior. The fear of you. As the fear in the gods rose, mine was replaced by hope. Hope is for the weak, Pandora. Hope is what makes us strong. It is why we are here. It is what we fight with when all else is lost. This is what hope delivers, child. You should learn that now. The chain, Kratos. My father once told me it maintains the balance of power within Olympus. Break the chain to raise the labyrinth. Wait here.
Pandora! Athena? It's all right, Kratos. Remember your purpose, Spartan. Remember why you have come so far. Prepare yourself, Spartan. You know what you must do. I will raise the labyrinth. I will take her where she belongs. I can see it, Kratos. In the darkness, the fires of hope will set us free. Pandora, no! You know why I'm here. You brought me here to do this. I oh. will find another way. No, Kratos. There is no other way. Let me go! No, child! I am not a child! You're hurting me! <sighs> Down, Zeus! Your obsession with this, this thing has become somewhat of a nuisance, my son. Release the girl, Zeus! Don't confuse this object, this construction of Hephaestus, with your own flesh and blood. But perhaps you already have, Spartan. Your quest for Pandora. Your pathetic attempt for atonement from the family you slaughtered has caused nothing but havoc on Olympus. Look around at what you have done. I see only what I have come to destroy. Taking pity on you has been my greatest mistake, Kratos. Just as taking pity on this thing will prove to be your greatest mistake. This has nothing to do with her! It has everything to do with her! Put her down! As you wish.
frame! This is what I am meant to do! You know that! Please! Hush! Kratos, you know this is the only way! Don't listen to her, Kratos. For once in your pathetic life, don't fail! Don't fail her like you failed your family! After all you have sacrificed, it ends in another stunning failure! <laughs> to do after I kill you. Face me, father. It is time to end this. Yes, my son. It is time. Perhaps you should have chosen the other one. Enough! Father and son will die together!
See the light. It is changing you. It is time to lay your fears to rest. The light reveals the truth. The power of forgiveness comes from within. To be forgiven, you must find the power to forgive yourself.
Kratos! Stop! Athena! No! Kratos, fear drove Zeus to kill his father Kronos. The same fear that brought the great war. A fear that drove Zeus to kill you, his own son. Zeus uses fear to keep you in the dark. Confront your demons and lay them to rest. God's rose, mine was replaced by hope. Hope is what makes us strong. It is why we are here. It is what we fight with when all else is lost.
have done well, Kratos. Freed from the bondage of Olympus and cleansed in chaos, mankind is now ready to hear my message. Look around you, Athena. The world stands in ruin. What good is your message? Go if you must. But first, I insist you give me the power from inside the box. The box was empty. That can't be true. I can see it in your eyes. You used my power to kill Zeus. You still have it as we speak. Don't you understand? When Zeus gathered all the evils and placed them in the box, I dreaded what would happen if it was opened again. And so, I summoned the most powerful weapon in the world, and I placed it in the box. I told you, it was empty. Pandora was sacrificed in vain. She died because of my need for vengeance. You must be mistaken. You used my power to kill Zeus. I saw you do it. Unless... Of course. When you open the box, you release the evils to the gods. Infected them. Changed them. Zeus himself fell prey to the dark evils. This is why he became so enraged and obsessed with your death. He was consumed by the evil, fear. I thought the power I placed in the box was never released. All these years I assumed you drew from the evils inside to destroy Ares. But I was wrong. you took from the box is mine. From it, you gained the strength that Zeus could never destroy. A strength great enough to overcome fear. Locked deep inside of you, Kratos, is hope. It has remained buried, trapped by your guilt and the failures of your past. When you killed Zeus, you must have allowed something to awaken it. What was it, Kratos? Hope is what makes us strong. It is why we are here. It is what we fight with when all else is lost. What was it, Kratos? All I remember is what I have lost. That is why you should give me the power. I understand its true meaning and where it belongs. I trust you to do the right thing, Kratos. You shouldn't. You owe me this, Kratos. I owe you nothing. I made you a god. I sheltered you from the wrath of Olympus. I delivered your revenge on Zeus. It is over, Athena. You would dare strike me down? Again? My vengeance ends now. You can't! You 
Disappoint me, Spartan. <clears throat> Found some. Get in the boat, boy. Don't want me to tie it to the boat? enough. Father? What? Did something change? The forest feels different. Mm. Everything is different, boy. Try not to dwell on it. Yes, sir.
That was the last. Where do I see my mother? How oh, there do I see my father? How oh, there do they call to me? 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 She's ready. Sorry. Squeeze. This knife. It was hers. Now it is yours. Stunty Dunt. She knew. Show me. Now? Now. What are we hunting? You are hunting deer. Which way? In the direction of deer. Okay. Uh, this way. Father, why are we doing this now? I need to know you can survive the journey. Then we leave for the mountain? Depends on you. Hunt. More tracks? Yeah, but they're too round. Could be a wild boar. Good. Oh! Now what?
This way, boy. Oh. Wait, deer tracks. They're fresh. This way. Slow down, boy. Sorry. You are hunting deer, not chasing it. Yes, father. He broke our bridge. How are we gonna get across? Step aside. Sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. Find it. Mm. Find it. Ah, my bow! No! You are not ready! Stay back! Temple. But mom told me never to go in there. We do what we please, boy. No excuses. <sighs> Can I have my bow back now? Can you hit it from here? We should get closer. as an animal. It is simply a target. Clear your mind. Steady your aim and breathe in. Feet solid. Steady yourself. Exhale and release. I got it! Good. It's... it's still alive. Your knife. No. Finish what you started.
Boy, look at me. Look at me, boy. Boy, look at me. We did it. You are not ready. What? Are you serious? I found the deer. I've proved myself. How am I not ready? We are going home. I haven't been sick in a long time. I can do this. You are not ready. Still can't get the doors open, huh? Quiet. But why would a fire troll burn Mother's garden? And since when are drongers so close to the house? And what was that frozen thing that attacked us? I do not know. Now be silent. We are almost home. Inside, boy. Anything. You lost control. That thing was trying to kill us. It's not like you don't get anger in a fight. Anger can be a weapon. If you control it, use it. You clearly cannot. When you I haven't been sick in a long time. I'm better now. Fine. Come on then. You want me to hit you? I want you to try. Again. Why are you doing that? Too slow. Try again. Cut it out! Weak. Again. Again! Stop it! Again! <clears throat> Your anger. You can get lost in it. That ahead is difficult. And you, Atreus, are clearly not ready. What was that? Quiet. Come on out! There's no use hiding anymore. I know who you are. What's going on? Do you know him? More importantly, I know what you are. Boy, beneath the floor, now. But you told me never to go down there. Who is that? I do not know. What's he talking about? I do not know. Get in. Just tell me what I want to know. No need for this to get bloody. Be bigger. But you're definitely the one. 
Long way from home, aren't you? What do you want? Oh, you already know the answer to that. Whatever it is you seek, I do not have it. You should move on. <laughs> and here I thought your kind was supposed to be so enlightened, so much better than us, so much smarter. And yet you hide out here in the woods like a coward. You do not want this fight. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do. Leave my home. You are going to have to kill me for that to happen. I warned you. Finally. You would not listen. No, 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 fine, my Incredibly disappointing. Come on, then. Tell me what I want. Pain stops real soon. Why are there two beds in there? Did I? so soon? Ah, when Odin's 
sent me here. I just needed answers, but you, you had to act all proud. Throw whatever you have at me. I'll keep coming. That old body will give out. But before I end this, I want you to know one thing. I can't feel any of this. Your struggle is pointless. You didn't have to be this way. Pathetic! <laughs> you can't win! I feel nothing! But you, you feel everything, yet you, you keep trying. I'm not my brother. And if you'd given me what I wanted, it wouldn't have ended this way. But no! <sighs> Let's finish this. <laughs> Cannot stay here. Boy, there was so much. I, I thought you're all right. I am all right. Come. <sighs> Gather your things. We are leaving. Thought I wasn't ready. You are not. We have no choice now. <clears throat> The 
mountain. It's gonna be a long trip. Yes, but an important one. Whoa. How did this happen? Who was he? I do not know. What did he want with us? We're nobodies. Did you kill him? I did what had to be done. Could have died. Never leave me alone again, all right? All right. Oh. You've had to kill people before, haven't you? You're used to it. We do what we must to survive. Animals I get. They're food. Draugr, they're supposed to be dead. But people, they're trying to survive too. Close your heart to it. On our journey, we will be attacked by all manner of creature. Close your heart to their desperation. Close your heart to their suffering. Do not allow yourself to feel for them. They will not feel for you. I understand. <gasps> Has this been here all this time? Look. All this time, there's been a protection stave around our entire woods. But the stave's broken there. Did you cut those down? She had marked the tree she wished used for her pyre. Why'd she do that? Come. No looking back now. So... How long will it take to get to the mountain? I do not know. Before winter falls? I do not know. Okay, okay. Move. Thanks. There's the mountain! Let's go! Not yet! It's fine! See? Hang on! Hurry! I'm slipping! Stay calm! Almost there! That wasn't so bad. Slow down. Your haste will cost us. Sorry. Mm. Ugh, more drawler. But these aren't moving. Are they dead? I mean, more dead? Boy. Not dead, not dead! Oh, this used to be a marketplace. The giants used to gather here to trade with the gods a long time ago. Wonder if Odin was ever here. Oh, what's that smell? Walkers, they're untouched. Look, someone start the fires. Sigmund, your knives. So many days without meat. <laughs> meat? <clears throat> Wait, to us? Behind me. What if they change like the others? We'll have to keep them alive. Strip off their meat. A little at a time. This fight is mine alone. <laughs> <laughs> Atreus! Ah! Boy?
Close your heart to it. Come then. We have a long journey. <laughs> Okay. You are in your head, boy. Let it go. He would have killed you. I know, I had to do it. I do know that, I just... And we will go home, boy. What? To give up this easily. So close to the start. Wait, no. I'm not giving up. I can do this. I just have to, you know, catch my breath. Come on up. I'm ready. Listen to me. To be effective in combat, a warrior must not feel for his enemy. The road ahead is long and unforgiving. No place for a boy. You must be a warrior. I understand. Can't get this slow-eyed cocklump to cross the bridge. It's because she's scared of something in the trees over there. There's what now? Father, throw your axe at those trees on the other side of the bridge. The ones with the white trunks. Smart or something, boy. You're a boy, aren't you? Ha! Does she have a name? I don't know. Rude bastard ain't ever asked mine, so I ain't ever ask hers. Ah! Ha! What's yours? Brock. Better look at. Oh. <laughs> Say, uh. You're not gonna believe me, but that axe you got, uh, it was me what made her. Me and my brother was one of our best. So don't let nobody else go work on her except for us two. Ah! You gotta handle her special, or she'll wreck beyond fixing. I can enhance her for you right now if it so pleases you, son of a bitch. So what say you? Ah! You are right. I do not believe you. Come, boy. There's a rune in the shape of a fork under the grip. No, digger beach ya dumber. That was our brand, my brother and me, before we split. I got half of it right here, see? Look, you want I should upgrade her or not? Very well. I expect an improvement. So, where's the other half of the brand? Oh, my dumb brother's got it. But I got all the talent. Look! Well, don't look now, but our friends who were hiding in the trees are back for more. Go on! Give that axe a twirl! Hey, your paw can kill. You gonna learn to do that too? I'm not sure. This road, it leads to the mountain. Should put you in the right direction, sure. It was nice meeting you, Brock. I'll be thinking of a name for your beast. How about I name her fucking Granitus? Hey, fucking Granitus, come over here. I like it.
Never been this close to the mountain before. It looks so big. I wish Mom was here to see it. does it say? As we are, we two, we three. As I alone can never be. A riddle. Hmm. Maybe there's a clue around here. Boy, what do those runes say? Oh, it says family. That's not a clue. It's the answer. What I alone can never be. Right? Use your knife and trace the runes into the sand. Really? Kinslow. Something happened! tracks. Hmm. A boar, maybe? Not sure. But I'll find it. Go. It is important for a warrior to keep his skills sharp. I did what you said and it looked like it bounced off. Could the boar be magical? Hmm. What do you think? It looked weirder than any boar I've ever seen. Get after it then. Steady hand, relax. Accuracy over speed. Yes! Oh, do not lose it. Boy! Where are you? He's my friend. The boy was following my command. Then help fix this. Hold here, please. Hold, I said. He's losing blood. The last of his kind in all the realm, and you shoot him. You needed food? Target practice. Target practice. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Keep that pressure on. The blame is mine. I should have kept a closer eye. Will he die? I will not let him. 
you. The arrow cut a tideway inside him. Find both ends and hold them tightly. Start with the left side. Grab it and hold. Now the right side. Hold it tight. Good. Now pull them together. Line them up. You're a witch. I can't finish the healing here. My home is just beyond the trees there. You will carry him. He must not die. Good. He seems stable and calm for now. Great. That bow's a little big for you, isn't it? My mother made it for me. She said I'd grow into it. I've never seen you in these woods. She must miss you being away from home. She... She's dead. We're taking her ashes to the highest peak in the realms. Ashes? It was her last wish. Boy. I'm... Sorry for your loss. We're here. You live in a tree? Not in it. Below it. Hemile! Look! It's all right. Is he friendly? Boy. I promise you, he's safe. He won't hurt anyone. Stave there. Keep him still. You live alone? It's better this way. Yeah, my father doesn't like people either. Boy. Well, you don't. Hold him still before he hurts himself. Good. Easy. Rest now. I need two more things. Fresh red root growth just behind the house. Can you pull a cluster? What else? I... I know you're a god. Not of this realm, but there's no mistaking it. He doesn't know, does he? About your true nature? Or his own? That is none of your concern. The gods of these realms don't take kindly to outsiders, trust me. I know. When they find you, and they will, they'll make things difficult. The boy will want answers. That will be my problem. Whatever you're hiding, you cannot protect him forever. But you're right. Doesn't concern me. I also need lamb's crest. Do you mind? It's a white petal flower in my garden. Just a handful. Fine. Lamb's Chris. I like her. I mean, she lives under a turtle. You are too open with her. We do not know if she can be trusted. She hasn't tried to kill us. Yet. Would this help? I dropped it? 
when you were chasing the animal. What's wrong with me? If I... if I lost it then... You did lose it. I'll take better care of it from now on. Leaving. Wait. Not without thanks. You want solitude? This mark will hide you from those who might make your journey difficult. that leads safely out of these woods. Follow this path down, then head towards daylight. Will we see you again? As much or as little as you like. Now get out of here. Come, boy. Get to the mountain quick. I just can't believe I'm here. And always. There was a time I thought I'd never leave our woods. Not even my own beds. You were not to blame for your sickness. Oh, I know. I guess I'm just saying. This is great. There's the mountain. Look how close we are. We flow into seawater. How do you know? Do you not smell it? If that smells the sea, the sea stinks. Look at that! It's Thor! Thor, God of Thunder. That's right! I never thought you'd listen when Mother spoke of the gods. I seldom did. Did she speak of one who could feel no pain? Oh. That sounds like Baldur. Baldur. An Aesir god. Son of Odin and Frigg. And Odin is king. That's right. Why do you ask? something just sitting there in the middle of the lake I see rooms there this chest can't quite make it out It reads, sacrifice your arms to the center of the water. Awaken again the cradle of the world. What? Throw our weapons into the water? Guess that won't be a problem for you. Are you gonna do it?
wasn't there before, see? And there's the mountain. Look it, that building leads from the foot of the mountain to that golden temple. It was all just under the surface. Except for the statue. Good thing, huh? There's even a dock. There, next to the flag. We're going to the dock first, right? We'll be the first people to walk on it in who knows how long. You know of that serpent? He's one of the giants. He's so big, he's wrapped around the whole world and bites his own tail. An exaggeration. I don't know. Looks pretty big to me. Is this the way to the mountain? It would seem. If it isn't the bearded beaver, it is sexy. Have I got something for you, too? Brock? But how did you... None of your fucking business. Now get in here, I got something for you. And don't go making pig eyes at my spot. I saw it first. Okay. What do you think he wants? To test our patience. When word gets out about my new shop, folks will finally come out of hiding. They'll be clawing all over each other just to catch a whiff of my wares. You watch. Catch! The pile of rocks there, with that key of Yggdrasil, you can open a magic door to the branches of the world tree. A shortcut between the realms. If you ever see a mount in the world, use it to get back to me quick. But it's only one way, straight back here and nowhere else. And whatever you do, never, never, ever, never, ever throw yourself over the edge of the path. Lest you want death. Yeah, I don't see us wanting that. Whoa. Sure is foggy here. Another dwarf. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. Uh, excuse me, but, um... <laughs> How did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that <clears throat> you did something to her. It was my mother's. She left it to father before she died. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I... We'll make improvements to the axe. But... Nobody asked you to. Well, it's... it's true, but... But knowing your mother... <laughs> she would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my... brother. I knew it! You are Brock's brother! The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah, but can you... can you put it down over there? That handle is... No. 
filthy. Okay, then. I'll just... I will just... Oh. 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 Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. I can see why mom wanted us to bring her here. Indeed. Stay back, boy. Ugh. What is that? We must find another way up. The witch! Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic is useless against the Black Breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy, saving my friend, if you remember. The Black Breath is a corruption of magic even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe... Maybe by helping you I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. We're going to another realm? Are you coming with us? Only for a little while. Only for a little while. Greythal! Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. Just give that a turn. There. Tyr's temple is at the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor <gasps> returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. 
destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. You know, we actually talked to the World Serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages, even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back to talk. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? Piosta! What? It's solid! Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. Boy, over here. Look! It's the World Serpent! He's so much bigger than I imagined. Oh, look! He bit Thor! Or will bite him. Looks like. The tongue of Niflheim, a foul place of ice and mists, and dwarven mischief. Those runes are of Muspelheim, the Fire Realm. No place for children, even brave ones. Temple. Built with help from the giants, Great Tear used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers. Savage enough to survive in such a world. Hey! Another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Good. Now push it back into place. Now realign the wheel onto the track. Push the bridge along the track. <laughs> what? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. So about the dead. We heard someone call them Hellwalk. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls, denied their judgment and their peace. By what? Could Vanir magic raise the dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. That's perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Through these doors. Wait. 
So did the Giants or the Elves build Tearstone? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. Leota. Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please. Once you claim the light of Alfheim, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. So dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree, and make travel between the realms possible. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the Light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes. The wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel rune that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the realm travel bridge will align, and the realm between realms will open.
See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower missing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And we'll be able to make that black breath go away? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot... The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <sighs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught. She's not dead. Is she? Not likely. Come. Whoa. What's that about? Not our concern, boy. Focus. Murdering the light elves. It is war. The end of one. The robed ones lost. Huh? Again, I said nothing. Wait, could have sworn you said something. What is it, boy? Oh. Voices. You don't hear that? I hear nothing. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices, angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt... evil. Look, should we try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. Fine too. Should I read it? What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. But I don't see any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back to the boat. 
It's sad the elves can't work things out. How if I'm such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things. Survival or enemy. The blue door! That's gotta be the entrance. Let's go! Careful, boy. What are they doing? The bridge is gone. They covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. We do not belong here. together like that they kind of look like a room it doesn't make sense come back to the sand bowl going to tell me about war. Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. Father, the pillars and ring farm an elvish room. Voices again, but different voices, less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. Luger. What's happening? Look what we found! Father? Yes? The voices I heard. It was hard to make out, but way in the back I'm pretty sure I heard. Mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. He looks different. Look at those horns. Behind me, boy. Another. Hmm. This giant's a sorceress. Her name is Groa. Looks like she had visions. Did Odin kill her for her book? Whoa! You killed an ancient? Yes. Was it difficult? Yes. Is that 
all you're gonna give me? Yes. There, the light. They've covered it up with that stuff. Why would they do that? Look, another light up. What's he doing? Oh no! Why are they killing him? He didn't do anything. Do not assume. You are seeing the end of a war, boy. You do not know what led to this moment. But he didn't even defend himself. That was his choice. We make ours. Bridges. I don't think we're supposed to be in here. Quiet. Did you hear that? Stay alert and by my side. Hey, when we make it to the light, how do you think we get it into the Bifrost? The witch said to step into it. She did? When she was ripped away from this realm. Oh, how did I miss that? You were more concerned with her safety than our goal. Father! <laughs> Quiet! I have him. Your knife boy. Reappear. It's the source of all of it. Wait, it's it's singing. I hear. I hear her. I told you I heard her. Do you think she's in there? Ah! Ah! Oh, I really hurt. I felt like my hand was on fire. Stay here. But I want Stay to go. here. Only use it as a last resort. You're giving me your axe? I am letting you hold my axe. 
is not a gift. Still. I'm not what he thinks I am. I know better. He doesn't talk to me. Doesn't teach me. It should have been him. Do you hear me? Him, not you. I don't mean that. You know I love him. I just wish he was better. I know he can be. So if he tries, I'll try. But if he doesn't, please come back. I know you're out there somewhere. Only moments. No, you've been gone a long, <coughs> long time. I didn't know what to do. You left me here again. <coughs> Why don't you care? Uh, that's impossible. We should go before they come back. I hope you got what you needed. Yes. Look, there's our exit. But there's no light to make a bridge. We're trapped. And the witch's bowstring is useless. Boy, your bow. Hold it out.
Great. The one with the horns is back. Did we help the wrong side? I... Let me guess. You're gonna be smug and say you told me we shouldn't get involved. That is enough. Can we go now? Do you remember the answer? Yeah, yeah. Boy, read this. Boy, what's that say? Only time you want to talk to me is when you need to. Do you want to tell me something? I said, the only time you care to talk to me is when you need me to translate for you. If mom was if here... If your mother was still alive, we would not be here at all. So? Was she in the light? Who? You know. Oh, she was not there. Not like you would even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? You do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. In the light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you. That's good to know. Really? So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? Sindri said, Mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on. To brave an unforgiving world alone. And that's why she has Sindri and Brock to make her the axe? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. She found purpose in protecting the weak. So, she'd help out the elves? No. for my attention to detail. You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. Father, I have a confession to make. All those voices in my head, well, this wasn't the first time. Back when we met Brock, his animal warned me about something hiding in the trees. That's why she didn't want to cross. She told you. Well, I could just feel what she was feeling, what she was afraid of. Hmm, it happens again. You tell me, understand? I promise. What now? We have the light. To Midgard. from another realm. 
And we met your brother. Wait, not that order. Did you let that seed saw put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. <laughs> Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on a girl? Quite the opposite. Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. Good! She was right. Come, let us finish this. You know, others said the Giants used to visit the Midgard Mountains before they disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah, I guess they just up and left one day. No one knows why. Perhaps they returned to their home. To Jotunheim? Maybe. I wonder if the face in the mountain was a tribute to some important giant. The mouth! We made it! More black breath. Is it the answer? Freedom. Sure, that works. Go ahead. Sure. Ross. What you doing? Oh, thought maybe there'd be a bridge. Huh. Your giants need to test us further. This is a lot of bodies. Tell me what you see. Well, they look like men, not giants. Correct. The you seeking treasure. See the traps? Oh yeah. Lucky for us, they set them all off. Be grateful these stay dead. One of the four stags of the World Tree. He's supposed to watch the entrance to Yodenham while the giants sleep. Think he's still there? I do not know. Wow. The highest peak in the realms. Think Mom knew this was the giant's mountain? No. The request has been more complicated than she could have foreseen. It's a name, I think. Frasley. It means terror. There's a candle all tangled up with string and some sort of animal hide. Some kind of lantern? No wick, though. 
That is of no use to us. The Bifrost lights our way. Whoa. What is all this? Where are we? A mine. And if this claw reaches the summit, our goal is near. Read it. Sir. That's funny. How so? One hand wrote, Yotnar only. And another wrote, and also doors. Should we add to it? No. I think I see how this works. The claw's on one side, and if we get this unstuck... Oh, I think the rope stuck under that rock. That was careless. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Hmm. Well, that looks heavy. No way. Why give us the way to the top? It's working! We got the claw back! It fits! That's perfect! Hey! Wait for us! How do we keep those gears from moving? I should hold it. Here we go. Do you think this goes all the way to the top? We will see soon enough. Something feels strange up there. We're heading into danger. Do not concern yourself with what might be. Focus on what is, and be vigilant. Yes, sir. Not the top, but we're closer. Wait, that one's not broken. There's a note, a giant's prayer. They're asking their ancestors to watch over them, to guide them home. Boy. Wait. I think I know how it works. Watch. them to watch your mother. Do you think they'll watch over us on the way to the top? Come boy, it is a long way up. That did it! Or not, are we still too heavy? What do you think we'll be able to see? The lake? The world serpent? Our house? We will see when we get there. Until then, eyes open.
Whoa! Atreus! I'm fine. Just lost my balance for a moment. You know, for someone so strong, you sure worry a lot. It serves me well, and how I keep us alive. I guess. Not a terribly fun way to live, though. Think we'll get attacked again? Definitely. Oh boy. Yes. Now be ready. Father, after we scatter the mother's ashes, what then? What comes next? Nothing comes next. We go home. That's it? The adventure is over? For now. But we will have much to do. You were right earlier on the boat after cutting down the last tree. You said it felt like something had changed. And it has. And our home is no longer safe. But it will be again. And we must continue your training. Okay. We're almost at the summit. Nothing's gonna stop us. Calm yourself, boy, and stay behind me. Yes, sir! Intense. I can't believe we fought a dragon. I was aiming for his eyes, but I kept losing my footing. Do you think this is their home? Did they move in after the giants left? Or are they why the giants left? Boy, the air grows thin here. No more questions. Breathe. Oh, yes. I see. Wait, boy. It's Sindri. Can you kill something that big? If we can catch it off balance. I can distract him. What are you doing? We have to help him. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Thank you. the crane on my mark. I don't know how this thing works. I do not care. Now!
Wow, we actually did it. And you! Ah, uh, but, 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 nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years. Not since the grand culling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me. You are mistaken. The dragon was simply in our path, nothing more. You deny it all you want, but you saved me, and that deserves compensation. What are these? Braided mistletoe arrows, straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Uh, thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah. He said you lost your talent. <laughs> Oh, and that I'm selfish. No, I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No, over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No, and I'm tight. Fussy. I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any. Ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. Where you grab that? Oh, ah, never mind. Oh, so unclean. Oh, so so unclean. Oh, oh, the smell. Perfect. That should do. Oh. Yeah. I am not touching that. Just hold it out. Mm -hmm. Now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, gently, now. Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Um... Oh, how do I explain this? I've added a new vibrating pattern to the... Oh, oh, I see. Figured it out on your own, then. Just... never mind. I wasn't just explaining the beautiful and complex artistry of my craft or anything. No, just... anything to help you. Yep. It's getting colder. We must be near the top. Not long now, Mush. Look! The summit! We're so close now! Your quiver. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's alright. I can hold it. Stop. Broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Good. Hmm. Go. Steady, boy. Mind your footing. You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. Of a chill winds blowing it. You know why we're here. My last visit managed to loosen your tongue. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. I see you brought company this time. It must be important that the sons of Thor gain to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. 
You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Balder, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Boy took their path. Make sure we're alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to thy gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Just give him time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her... She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard. It's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can't we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body through these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, you will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. Boy, the longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. Uh, so you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough.
Yuna, we're going to Yuna. We're going to find the long lost realm of the giants. That's, that's... Inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. So this is the bridge to Yotunheim? This looks like those weird doors we've seen. I guess Mimir will help us figure it all out. If we can bring him back to life. Do you remember the way to the witch's house? Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves. South of the lake. I know just where to go. Hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring Mimir back. You seem nice. Before you cut off his head. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Acer God. Balder. And you fought him and won. Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but... I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. It may be the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind too? Is that why you don't like to talk about- My the... kind? I mean, your family. Before mother and I, where you came from. Mother, a father? Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. Fucking break! Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Pep. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and Roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Is he eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has it the sense to sip us up. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> Along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spitfister? What do you know? I just mean Hey, that... do you mind? Trying to concentrate here? Already on a break from my break. Do you remember the way back to the witch from here? That way. Behind the big statue of Thor. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully.
So, know any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew of long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Huh? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft. And we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No. But you may feed it to the fish. Okay. Father, she is here! It is so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? <sighs> Take him to the table. Hey, Mille. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well... Thankfully, his head hasn't decayed much, and his brain is still intact. <sighs> nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water, and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It works! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either? Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir once, yes. But no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? It's true. 
You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. So, Mimir, why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye, Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. Mimir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the rope. Ed, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Good. Now put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. He remembers me. Why are you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Mokuno Huntunku. Closely now, we need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is, and it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me, I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. The 
Come here. You never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. I will pick this up later. A very giant giant, who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son, but young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiralled out of control, and the overworked stonemason Bonk! Struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son. But in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night. So far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. Him. Oh no, he fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor oh, always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Right. Oh, hey! You again! Come on up! Wow, that was uh, something that the uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go.
Why are we going up when what we need is all the way down there? Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. I just leave smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to. Oh, I get it now. Good. to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip. Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck then? You are welcome to suggest a different one. What does it say? When time itself is deserted, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song Mother used to sing. Don't I know that one? Winter that Quiet head. Doesn't like music either. Got it! Boy. Var. House. Veteran. Sumar. No, that wasn't right. Do it. Var. House. Veteran. Sumar. Still nothing. Boy, the order from the song again. Wait. Atreus, that word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Keep writing. Thor. 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 Head. How is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well, turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them, always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. <sighs> you did well. Thanks. The boy. Just having a little fun, you big grump. Well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But... Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. How do we get down? We jump. Really? Come. Do not panic. Why would I panic? Whoa. I have 
have you! You're cracked, you know that? Well, well, well. Good. We should keep moving. Credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. To disappoint father. Now keep looking. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh-oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. <sighs> Good. This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother. The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Stay behind me, boy. Why do you hunt us? What does Odin want? Don't oh, know. Don't care. Come here, happy me. You done know that is hell. Shut up! Don't call me that! <laughs> Can't believe you've lasted this long. No skinny little arms can bear it. I said shut up! Calm yourself. Your mother ugly or something. She cut up your face and you do not her. Don't talk about my mother! Don't talk about my mommy! <laughs> Don't listen to him, lad. He's trying to rile you up. Idiots! Sons of, <laughs> Sons of Thor are welcome to try! Head! Sorry! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. The boy's sick. He needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be all right. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? With that, we can carve the travel rune to Jotunheim. 
Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. He did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I. And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> Look, back near the giant's head. What? What is this place? Fishermen would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel rune to Jotunheim, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye, but his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We can also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. It seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. Mimir, you were in the middle of a story before. What were you saying about the Long War? Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. that magical lock. Brother, the chisel.
were setting foot in Tyr's vault. Another one of these. It's Tyr, but the middle panel is missing. Wait, I thought Tyr was a god, not a giant. Ah, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Hey, I wonder if the giants left a triptych about me somewhere, too. Go ahead. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. Andreas. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay. So the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods. Some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry, Not I'll... that. Do you smell something? Yeah, I do. Smells like... Rain? You ruined everything! I earned that fucking hammer! But now, everyone's gonna think I only got it. Cause Magni's gone! I'll be a joke! But if I kill you, no one's gonna laugh at me. You dumb. That your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. Shut up! <laughs> you don't know anything about my mother. Oh, it's true. But I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother. Right after I finish killing your father! <laughs> Oops! I think I broke him! <laughs> oh. No! Stay back! Brother, the boy. Atreus. You have to get into Freya quickly. There's no other way. Take the boat. Freya's isn't far. Odin's eye is on you, brother. Especially now that you've taken to killing his kin. Freya's forest is a blind spot for him. This is our smartest move. And if anyone can heal him, it's hard. What is happening to him? I've seen it in mortals that some conflict of the mind expresses itself as an ailment of the body. Never in my god. But 
a god believing himself mortal. I can only imagine. We're almost there. Somebody just called the serpent. Shaking. It's serious. We must hurry. Freya! Open the door! We need your help! Woman, do you hear me? It is urgent! I'm still a god. Go away! The boy has fallen ill! Freya! Inside. This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. I did this to him. Will you help me? Of course. There is a rare ingredient found only in Helheim. The keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. I need its heart. Mm. Hell. The Realm of the Dead. Do you know it? Not this one. It is a land of unyielding hold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the Nine Realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your Frost Axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. Dig up a past I swore would stay buried. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. This rune opens the bridge to Helheim. When you are there, do not, under any circumstances, cross the Bridge of the Damned. There is no road back. Understand? Mm. Oh. Boy. Hey, Malay. You must hurry. Through my garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back the Bridge Keeper's heart. And your son may survive. Last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise. Helheim of all places. You all right, brother? I will do what I must. Leave me be. As you wish.
There's nowhere you can hide, Spartan. Put as much distance between you and the truth as you want. It changes nothing. Pretend to be everything you are not. Teacher. Husband. Father. But there is one unavoidable truth you will never escape. <laughs> You cannot change. You will always be a monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. Pretty sure you weren't talking to me back there. Anything you'd like to get off your chest, brother? I can assure you I'm unsurpassed in keeping confidences. Well, you know where to find me. And for the record, I'd already guessed you were Greek. Athena, dead giveaway. What? Hey! You reek of foreign magic! Sweet Nana's nethers. What are those? I've never seen the like. That's gotta be a family heirloom. No. Nor will it ever be. Son, my brother and me created me all near for the big idiot. I know from quality. And them? Them special. Hey, where's the little turd? He has fallen ill. No. What happened? Aesir? No. The fault is mine. And my responsibility to make it right. Hmm. Now, we all gotta take responsibility sometime. Huh? Say, what can I do to help him? I can do things. And when I should tag along? No. Your work here is enough. All right. So where are you off to in such a hurry? The realm of the dead. Helheim? Shit, this is serious. I'll be keeping my eye on you. It's done. We really are doing this.
watching your back. Let me take this moment to tell you that what you are about to do is absolutely insane. Not even Odin can survive this cold. So, hope those blades work. The Bridge of the Damned. And there's the Keeper, making sure the dead are really dead. What is that he holds? That totem contains a powerful source of magical energy, the very power of Helheim itself. But what you want is his heart. Just take it and we can leave. How? Start some trouble. You can do that, right? the heart, brother. You'll have to get your hands dirty. You're set. Better not to linger here, though, eh? Kratos. Zeus. Zeus? My father. Your father was Zeus? Well, that explains a lot. What is that place? Never go there. Understand? How is he here? That is not possible. It's just an illusion. Hell's known for torturing its inhabitants with their own past. We should focus on getting back to your son. Psst! Yeah. Shh! He ain't supposed to be here. It's cold. Real quick, give me your blades. Why? Yeah, I said I'd help you and I aim to. Come on! Oh, my equipment's in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah, you, you don't suppose he'd nick those, do you? There. Now they're ready for the winds of hell. Just target this magical glowy bit here with your blades and throw. Now target that wind trap with your blades. See that? of hell whenever it damn pleases. So you're welcome and I believe it. This place is cold enough to freeze a pair of pigeon eggs. I sometimes wonder if there was once some sort of accident in his brain. We have been away too long. Sorry, brother. I'm still stuck on what I heard back there. Zeus was your father? Not now. We should focus on getting out of hell. And with that, I cannot argue. I'll just contemplate that little nugget in silence then.
You made it! Better get home to your boy already. We shouldn't delay, brother. It's straight back to Midgard with that heart. Understand? I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta! Do not call me that. Oh, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. It's still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. He must never know. Bollocks, brother. Respectfully, bollocks. He has to know. He'll never be whole without the truth. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. And it includes your boy. Do you see that? He feels that. He can't help what he is. He can't begin to help him because you haven't even told him. It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. Very well. So you know that shortcut between realms? Well, I made it better. Or I might have broke it. We use that. I know you do. So I took a few cuss from them winds of hell and made it so it ain't just one way. Now you can use it to travel to and from. If I didn't break it. Then we can take it to Freya. There's an idea, brother. It be some kinks to sort out, but you'll make it. Just go, brother. You gentlemen certainly know how to get around. Well, this isn't right. Ah, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must hurry. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. He is still ill. I can break the fever, but to heal... He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. Babe in my arms was so small, so helpless. 
I knew right then I would do anything to protect him, no matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Thanks. Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. That's Vanon, isn't it? You figured that out, did you? Well, the window looks like Bifrost Crystal, and I know that's not what's on the other side of the wall. And, well, it makes you sad. You are wise for one so young. Yes, this is a window to a home I left long ago. But it is only a few. The thing that happened to you in Alphon. You can't leave Midgard, can you? A gift from my former husband upon our separation. Why would Odin trap you in Midgard? Petty cruelty would be reason enough for him. But as with all his rash decisions, he's driven by fear. The Vanir were the greatest threat to the Aesir until our marriage brokered peace. Many of the Vanir now think I betrayed them. The fruits of my sacrifice. To be hated by my own kind. To trap me here is to ensure I can never make it right. Um, so I was wondering, why do you live under a turtle? <laughs> He was my first friend here in Midgard. He offered me shelter, and in return, I provide him with protection against the evils of the forest. Golden boar, giant turtle, you sure have some interesting friends. Now then, before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay, then. Nope. Still kinked. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. 
No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth? I am a god boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is... I was born a god. And so were you. Boy. Have you nothing to say? Um... Can I... Turn into an animal? Can you... Turn... Into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? I had hoped to spare you. Being a god, it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like God. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, we will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So... Maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own. You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Barack and Sindri? They do not need to know. Balder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, you don't have to go right back to Fierce Vault. Do we? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right now? I will show you. Let's try this again, without interruptions. Here we go again. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean... Just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much strong. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. 
So there are good guys. Once in a moon, it's been known to happen, yes. This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. Same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim Tower. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Where is this Black Rune head? Don't know. I've never been in here. The stone! That has to be it! Brother, up there! The winds of hell! The winds of what? Oh, we forgot to mention that. When you were sick, we went to Hellheim to get your... <laughs> Terrible experience, by the by. <laughs> your dad picked up a new trick, though. <laughs> Rock? Rock was there, too? I... but... We'll get back to this later. forget why we are here. Okay. That's from a great desert land very far from here. Do gods live there? Oh my, yes. Many, many gods. Good or bad? Not as simple as that, I'm afraid. What did you see in that vault that set you off? It is not important. Seemed important to you. It was a rash impulse. You need not dwell on my failings. Wow. That was almost an apology. Well, I guess you do like to smash pottery. Ah! Look! It's the wolf giants. Skull and Hati. That's right. The bringers of day and night. Ragnarok begins when they catch the sun and moon. Right? Did Tyr know them? I don't know. Like them well enough to cover a massive wall in his vault with them, though. The runestone. 
slower. Ah. What's going on? Trap. Father. Boy, get out of here. I'm fine. How do we get you out? Gold chains on the wall. But there are three of them. What do I do? Atreus, focus. You can do this. Please hurry. I don't know yet if I can drown. Okay, think. Hot is the silver one. He hunts them. Skull's gold and he chases the sun. For Ragnarok to happen, they have to eat them. But these are out of order. Good boy. So the moon goes on the left, sun on the right. With Midgard in the middle, but which bar do I pull? Middle, quickly! That's something. No, stop it! Wait! What's that big chain for? Father! Above you! Boy! You have to stop that chain! How? I... I do not know. To do? For life? There's no other way! It's not working! That should have worked! But it saved you. That was cunning, boy. The red's free! I think we did it! Aye. Let's go see what Tears got for us. Oh no! Ray's protection room! It rubbed off! What should we do? We keep going. There it is! We've got it! From a man now. Like you? No. We are not men. We are more than that. The responsibility is far greater. And you must be better than me. Understand? Say it. I will be better. This weapon, any weapon, comes from here. 
but only when tempered by this. By the discipline, the self-control of the one who wields it. That is where the true strength of a warrior lies. You must never forget that. Good then. Come. close to the end. Sit. Lemnian wine. The island of Lemnos. Near the place of my birth. End. Really? It smells like rotten eggs. Is it still good? Possibly. Father, why did you leave your home and come here? Does it have to do with the other gods there? <laughs> it's just, you hate the gods so much. But Tyr proves that gods can be good. And you're good. You only killed those deserving, right? Yes. Ah. But who's worthy enough to judge? Quiet, Head. We are. We know better. Uh huh. Sounding more like your da by the moment. Ready. Ready. Come. I think I'm gonna like being a god. Giants. Aye. Having learned that travel rune to Jotunheim, we can now head back to the gateway on top of the peak and put that magic chisel to good use. Nobody's getting in our way this time. Come on. I'm gonna tell Sindri I'm a god. I'd like to see the look on his face. No. I may have kept your secret too long, but now you will keep our secret. Huh. Why should we hide where we are? Secrets are Odin's way. Shouldn't we be open? Like Tyr? Tyr kept secrets too, for good reasons. 
to protect people. It is wiser to be discreet. That doesn't mean you should lie to your friends. Or your family. I'm sure Sindri would understand and do the same. So what? Excited to finally see the land of the giants? Yeah, but also sad the journey's almost over. Oh, what if we get to Jotunheim and there aren't any giants there either? Makes little difference to us. Fulfilling your mother's wish is what is important. Ah! Oh, don't go anywhere. Be with you in two shakes. Father, can I tell him? No. Tell me what? Did you put this wheel in your mouth? Oh, God. I I'll vomit. I I'm not kidding. I'll throw up on it. It is nothing. A family matter. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. I can tell you a thing or two about family matters. Oh. Oh. Let me guess. Your brother isn't as talented as you, and his work is junk. Um, those things are accurate. Your point? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up already. I see. Yeah! We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems! Um... All right. That hurt a little. Let's have a look at your gear, then. Why did you speak to the dwarf like that? Aren't you sick of hearing about him and his brother? Of course. But it serves nothing to make an enemy of him. He should know the truth, even if it hurts. It was needless and unkind. Truth is more important than kindness. Your mother would disagree. She wasn't a god. Can you? After the way you spoke of her, I questioned that. What? That she wasn't a god? She was better than a god, and you shall not dishonor her. Fine. Carry her yourself. You and Mother always said all gods were evil. But we're not. Tyr wasn't. Freya neither. The Acer gods, that's who's evil. And you know what? Odin's right. We are a threat. Because we know what they are, and we know we can beat them. Well, well, not all of them. Not yet. Magni did his worst, and he's dead. They're no better than us, and they're gonna be sorry they picked this fight. Like he did more than that. Move it. Or we'll pick up where he left off. I'll kill you. No. He is beaten. Not worth killing. He should pay for what he said about mother. I said no. But we're gods. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> That's what I said to your mother right before I gave it to her. What are you doing? This is a much better knife than mother's. Haven't you been teaching me to kill? I have been teaching you to survive. We are gods, boy. And that makes us a target. 
From now until the end of days, you are marked. So I teach you to kill, yes. But in defense of yourself. Never as an indulgence. Nobody cared about him anyways. What's the difference? There are consequences to killing a god! Why? How do you know? How do you know? Watch your tone, boy. Whatever. along that. made it. Beautiful, isn't it? Why well, I remember once. Brother, look out! Instead, I'll do whatever you Shut oh. up! All uh. this time, I thought uh. I needed you! Uh. But you're just me. Uh. Uh. Turns out, the boy is the brains. Uh. 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 do all the heavy lifting for you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Let go! Calm down, boy. You are not ready for this. I am ah! ready. And here I thought my family was fucked up. <laughs> ah! 
Oh, your father is right, boy. You are far from ready. Now, would you be so kind as to hold this for me? Thank you. Atreus! Give up! Opens the full word of Ascot will come crashing down on you. <laughs> it's over, is it? So be it. Kill them, you know I will. What did you do? Stay still! You will listen to me and not speak a word! I am your father, and you, boy, are not yourself. You are too quick to temper. 
You are rash, insubordinate, and out of control. This will not stand. You will honor your mother and abandon this path you have chosen. It is not too late. This discussion is far from over. We are here because of you, boy. Never forget that. Wow, it's cold. This is hell? Not just hell. Worst place in hell you could have put us. I see a ship. Get us there. It only takes us halfway to Tyr's temple, but at least it gets us far from here. In a thousand mortal lifetimes, the bridgekeeper kept the living out of this place. But now that you've ripped his heart out, here we are. Funny how it all comes around. Was me. But we're gods. We can do whatever we want. Turn away, boy. <laughs> That's what I said to your mother right before I gave it to her. It wasn't me. I couldn't have done that. Do not dwell on those thoughts. Not here. We must keep moving. Yeah. Wait. I think I see Baldur up ahead. No. No, I would never... Stay out of sight. Listen. You, you had no right. I had every right. I am your mother. You had no right, witch. I can't taste. I can't smell, I can't even feel the temperature of this room. Feasting, drinking, women, it's all gone. But you never got to feel pain again. Death has no power over you now. You would rather die? Than never feel again? Yes. Yes. I would rather die. Yes. Take it away, Mom. I can't. Please, please, please take it away. Like that? Son. Trust me in time. You will find me. You will find me. Come on. You know. Yeah. I won't. Come on. Come on. Ruin my life. I mean, we can figure this out. I never want to see you again. Never. <laughs> what you did to me. Freya is his mother. Why did you what keep this you from us, Head? Would you believe it slipped my mind? I would not. Uh, I'm at a loss. I assure you, you have no reason to keep such a thing a secret. There's the boat. We will speak more of this. Uh, not entirely sure this is seaworthy. She will do. Give me space to work. What can I do? 
You have done enough. Just bear in mind this boat can only take us part of the way. Tyr's temple is near the top of a tremendous waterfall which, sadly, we are downstream. That means even if we get there intact, we'd still need to sail up a waterfall somehow. The Vanir built the greatest ship that ever was, and it can fly. Skisplothnir? Yeah, because it was designed to fly. This was not. Nevertheless, this is the boat we have. Perhaps the biggest iceberg I've ever seen. At least the fire's making heat. What now? Chopping it? So now the sails are loose? Just watch. Catch the wind. We're floating! The heat from the fires! We're actually floating! And we're stuck again. Not for long. Stay with the boat. I can't believe it. You just made a huge skyline. Wait for me there. Atreus. I can help? Together now. Father, it is time to end this! Yes, my son. It is time. No. It's that voice again. Do you know who that is? I do not know. Ah! <laughs> 
Come on, we gotta go! You saw... There's no time, look! This realm now as long as we didn't wreck our way back what is this place this is odin's i recognize his atrocious taste anywhere about here. Odin must have stolen it. But why? He always has his reasons. Might I have a look? Well, this is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Head. Look clearly that tear. Traveling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Aye. How do you... This one I know too well. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Interesting. Very interesting. What is that? Secret plans concealed by Tyr so none could access but him. And those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose, ho ho ho! I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Ed? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we're the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber Tyr's kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. That symbol on the temple door. It's a bunch of runes together. Peace, unity, hope, other things too. Tears own design. He made this door himself. See anything? You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? Yes. Very well. All right, let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? Now, Head, why did you not tell us Balder is the son of Freya? He is! It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. When I think about Balder and Freya, I... The mirror? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. 
How's that, brother? Hey, tell me Baldur's vulnerability. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely! I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, or back when I figured out Baldur's weakness. I'm here! Yes, lad? You just said you figured out Baldur's weakness. Did I? But Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. <sighs> Enough. This means there is a way. If he trouble. Wait, are we looking for Brock? He's back there. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war, of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo-gaw, I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. Pattern weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth, is that... Where did you... I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Well, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow too. Oh, watch, watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? I don't need to. I triple quenched it with Trogdor. See? How inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. Quit your grinning. It's downright unsettling. <laughs> it's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, price of uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Princess. You're gonna get me all weak. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. No. Hey, look who's back up and about. Didn't I tell you it'd be fine? Tears ruin. This is it. We're inside. But what is this place? Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. It's moving! What's moving? <laughs> Extraordinary. The whole room is built on some kind of axle. There's chains on both sides. Without those... <clears throat> we can flip the temple. All Do right. you what now? Uh-oh. Things are happening. Okay. I don't think they're attacking. 
boy on the statues. I see them. It says void. Hmm. Ominous. Go on. Read. Before the first, after the last. Nothing between, no shadow cast. Alpha. Are you quite sure flipping the temple is the only way to reach the whatever it is? You said there would be a path. The temple can be flipped. Therefore, we flip the temple. The logic is unassailable. Not sure what happens when we recklessly upend a room that's rooted to eight other realms. I'm curious, of course, but it's a leap to imagine it gets us to Jotunheim. I don't mind a leap. Well, who knows? Perhaps you and Tyr are the same kind of mad. An army of statues. I don't think they're the kind that come to life, if that's what you're worried about. Tyr often said that in the world of PC envisioned, the only soldiers he'd need would be statues. Bless his heart, but the bugger did take himself rather seriously, didn't he? I know what I promised, but in case this doesn't work, just remember, Tyr had good cause to create these obstacles. He's kept Jotunheim out of Odin's reach, but the world is hardly at peace. No, but it's got hope. We're all working together now. We have unity. That's what the rune on the door to this place was telling us. We're on Tyr's path. Lift with your legs, brother. He knows. Just try to be helpful. <laughs> Sir, I'll be quite happy to be on your side, brother. And we're not dead. That's a plus. There, on the left. I think we can climb back up to the realm travel room from there. <gasps> See that, Mimir? Nobody can do all this alone. All these obstacles. They're just chances to prove we're the ones who can beat them. We may argue. Me and Father. You and Freya. Brock and Sindri. But when we all work together, we do make a good team. And that's Tyr's test. That's why we're gonna make it to Odenheim. Do you hear that, brother? Lad found his equilibrium. What's that mean? He means you speak wisely, Atreus. And that is good to hear. Ha! I guess the temple was made to be flipped. Look, the tree's upside down. Or are we? I'm not sure anymore. Boy, your knife. Well, what have we got? Some sort of travel stone. Let me see. Great our dumbless of us. That's the Unity Stone. You know it. I wasn't sure it existed. If Tyr possessed this, that explains how he could visit all the realms and other lands to boot. He held this... in the panel in Odin's library. Yes. Yes, that's it. I understand now. It shows Tyr walking the realm between realms. You know how you must never stray from the path. Well... Tyr always followed his own path, if you catch my meaning. The realm between realms. If 
you're thinking about hurling us all into the void, I hope you're quite sure. Wasn't it your idea? Find our own path, right? Bollocks. This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, if this is it, lads, it's been an honor. Our faith, Head. This is incredible! How can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on, that was great! Look! The tower! I knew there was something down here! Amazing! How do you hide something that exists in all realms? Cast it out of any realm to the space between! Clever old tear! Is Jotunheim on the other side? Can't be that! It's not like you go through Vanaheim to reach the Midgard Peak! But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tyr's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. Well, this is sparse. The pedestal. Oh no! It took the stone! The tower. It's absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening! Is it moving? It's moving! It knows what to do. The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling Tyr's spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. But after that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. You stopped. I think it's over. Aye. But where are we? We did it! The tower's back where it belongs! Now Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence. The stuff all realms were made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. To trust an outsider with it, even Tyr, tells you just how desperate they were. You fellas sure love to make a racket, don't you? I don't know what we'll find when we get to Jotunheim, but we must cover our tracks. Odin's ravens will tell him of the tower's restoration, and we mustn't let our efforts be to his benefit. Very well. Wait a minute. This isn't going to work. What? There's no travel crystal. Tyr must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. You've got eyes like him, Mimir. I've got an eye. One! Odin plucked out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. Sorry, lads. Thought that would work. What did Odin do with your other eye? He'd have kept it. In any of a hundred places, I'm afraid. But you've come so far. There has to be a way. Look, a bit of a long shot, but for years I'd see Sindri, sometimes Brock, lurking around in that mountain when Odin came for his visits. Maybe they know something. Brock did Sindri! Hey guys, question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... <laughs> Huh? 
He wanted me to build a... He showed it to me, you see, and I... The coin! Sorry, will you excuse me? Well, that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of pox speckled cockers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know we got it built just the same. What was the statue? It's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the lake. The statue that the serpent ate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? Oh no! We'd better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. Well, lads, I don't know what lies ahead. Ready. It might still be in his stomach. Um, and he's open to letting you go into his mouth to look inside. Ew. Really? By the by, he's not wild about it either. Are you sure this is a good idea? No. Brothers, I've been to many strange places, but this will be a new one. <laughs> yeah, I've never been in the giant's belly either. How about you, Father? Never one who was not trying to eat me. We really should expect that sort of response at this point. Here we go. about getting eaten. Dreams are nothing. I'm not afraid. It just reminded me of a way I used to feel when I was a child. Let's find that statue. Ah, smells not as bad as I thought it'd be. But like heather ale fermenting. Rather pleasant, actually. They're so weird. There's something down there. You want to be here? There, the hammer. That's an eye. Maybe you should stick that in my head for safekeeping. Gently now, gently. Thank you, brother. You don't miss depth until it's gone. 
How's it feeling, Mayor? Well, I wouldn't say I'm feeling whole again, but it's a right improvement. The Bifrost is intact. It'll serve. Then we have all we need. Finally, we're going to Yudna. There's no stopping us now. Laddie, have you ever heard the term tempting fate? So how do we get back out? We signal. Oh god! What's going on? Well, that was mildly terrifying. Maybe our presence is upsetting Jormungandr's belly. No. Something is wrong. What's happening to him? Nothing good. Glad that's over. Is he getting hit? What is that? We must hurry. Couldn't agree more, brother. this what happened to him something we did no something else a dead giant why would the serpent leave us here look Trust her. Right? Until we know for certain. Keep her distance. The world serpent. What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. The two of you. You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? Something's happened. I had a feeling that hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea, any idea at all, what you have cost me? My boy. Mother. I'm here. Don't run away. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, Mother. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you... How, how I feel? How I feel? I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I've rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, I realize I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. Oh, back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do. 
darkness path you walk. Vengeance. You will find no peace. I know. You... I'll deal with you later. But family first. This again? I said stop! You might want to turn away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him! No, boy. Fine. Stop! No! No! Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe! Not my blood. <clears throat> I can feel this. Oh. Oh. I can feel everything. Oh. No! <laughs> He's vulnerable now. said it was wicked. He's more than harmed. The spell is broken. He can be killed. I'm certain of it. It's all coming back now. Now he remembers. She's controlling that thing? Stay out of it. I can reason with him. No, woman. You cannot. He means to kill you. Stop 
them! Stop interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I wa- I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness. We can build something new. <laughs> Paid. But if that alone 
will make you whole. If seeing me dead will make things right, I won't stop. In no. imaginable upon you. I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved your life. He robbed me of everything. <laughs> everything. Just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy. Listen close. I'm from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with a god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this how it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. this journey while I still have strength. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. 
only a parrot can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live. Yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Why did Baldur say we cost him? Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Baldur was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hope to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. I can't believe Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Jorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Where? Once Jorgun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted beneath this bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, Freya agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted her so many wishes, I could scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. For he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly... Despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. Favor. Here we go! I can't believe we're gonna see the giants! Well, if things worked according to plan. <clears throat> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, hadn't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. 
Oh no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Look! We're on the giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. Hmm. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. It's your axe. It's Muller. Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. She... New giants? That's us. The first time we met the world serpent. But how? 
and our fight with Balder. But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain, the stone mason, all these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But what does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look. It's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. 
My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. she want to end up here? Be with her kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I... do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why do you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> No. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We train from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Mm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope. That though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. And we missed it! Understand if you want to go home, but maybe helping people is part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh, that's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you. More time has passed than you want to realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Baldur become something else. The stuff of omens. Omens? For the coming of winter? Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, back to Ragnarok. From snow. Aye. Snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed. Prophecy didn't count on you. Oh man, 
the tower ate the Unity Stone, didn't it? I wanted to fly again. Yes, that's a terrible pity. Okay. Tell me again how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. But it's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. <laughs> 